Hey, fuckers, it's Friday. I need you work tonight, folks. Nailed it. You are listening to your favorite podcast, favorite podcast, Shoutcast Uncut, with your host, Bobby Scalfix. That's a solid unit, Mac. Oscar and Jake. I call it a rock friend. Robert D. So happy to be here. The engineer, T2RX6. The fit and finish. Everyone's favorite internet troll, Greg for Mercy. Only troll for good. Meth. Deluxe Bones. Hell has bro. And the most popular tattoo transformer fan ever does have to call. Hey ladies. No, it's just awful. Who's running that company? Kind of a scale like that. Upload complete. Fuckers. Fuckers. This podcast is intended for mature audiences only and its sole purpose is to entertain. If it doesn't fit with your sensitive sensibilities, please feel free to turn it off now and show the fuck up, chip. What's going on, guys? This is T2RX6 here, back with the Shattercast crew. I am filling in for Lenny. Because right now he's busy fighting a box jellyfish, a bull shark, a blue ringed octopus, all while nursing a bite of a saltwater crocodile. He's pretty badass. Joining us tonight, we don't have the full cast because Robert is busy in the fetal position in the corner nursing a wicked paper cut. <laughs> anyway, we have the usual crew of members. We've got, first up, Greg for Mercy. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's going on, people? <laughs> Shout out to Antoine. <laughs> Shout out to Antoine for sure, for sure. Uh, coming up next week, we certainly don't have Antoine, but it is the one and only lovable, huggable, growing a dwarf-like beard, Matt Baldwin. Oh, I thought you say Bobby. Oh, you yeah. said Bobby. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm that beard. Safe. <laughs> safe. Hey there, everybody. Why did you cut it off already? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I just dodged the bullet there. Man, was, the, the hair, was, the hair beat a tactical retreat. <laughs> <laughs> when, you did that, when you did that, that graceful, you know, flip into the pit, yeah, you like man. that? Mm, you I, like I kind of got stiffy. Yeah, yeah. still I'm not got gonna it. lie, still not got gonna it. lie. That beard. Mm. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. And finally, joining us, making up for the lack of hair on his head, growing something on his face. <laughs> the one and only, Sorry. Mr. Skullface. Good evening. Good evening. It's pretty Good evening. ironic that your skull face and growing something on your face, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's funny. Somebody said something like, uh, "Do you? Do you uh, did something happen to your mask? It looks all weird at the bottom." I was going to say, does, how does it? Does it like stick to it? Uh, it's just like smooshed. It's just, it's just more. Oh, okay, it's soft. Now, it's see, soft. The, the one time that I've worn that type of skull face mask, like for the fun of it, uh, I had the beard coming through the mask. Do you find that problem? Uh yeah, but my my fucking facial hair man, it's like they're all like jagged little knives, like yearning for their little piece of daylight. It's like they all <laughs> like like they come out of my face straight, like you know, like instead of like like people's beards, like they're nice and they like all like the hair comes down. Like mine, I look like um, remember those remember those little balls that you maybe like your aunt had when you were a kid, and, and like they like had those little like fiberglass pieces that came out of the center, and they lit up. Like it was like a little fur, like it looked furry almost, and it like lit up, and like the colors would change throughout the tips of the little fiberglass piece. That's how my beard looks. Hmm. No idea. Oh, and there. I'll try to find it for you. You have to. You have to post that in the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In one of the groups, so I can tell. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I don't think my grandma had those. Yeah. Uh, I, so, I, know, I, I cut you off when you said something about like grandma and her balls and something like that. I don't know. I had no clue where you were going with that, and I was just like, and that's enough. That's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's a poor choice of words, perhaps. But it happens. It's we lost fine. Greg, too. Yeah, we lost Greg. And supposedly at some point we may pick up Robert. Yeah, three-man show. <sighs> maybe, right. that, maybe that Band-Aid is coming in after all. We'll see. Um, yeah, but I'm sure we'll get Greg back at some point. So we'll... Not start with him, I suppose, and go right on to Matt. What did you get go. this week? Me? Um, I got a uh, trade of a uh, Hulk, Abominable. It's pretty good. I think it's from the Hulk series. Uh, uh, not Incredible Hulk, but the Hulk. Um, I got Rewind from Titan Returns. Um, yeah, I need to do a little thing on him. And I got, uh, oh, God, who did I get? Wolverine and um, Colossus from uh, Marvel Select. And that's it. That was a lot weak this week. So. All right. Sounds good. 
Mm-hmm. Don't sound so, bad. Uh, Bobby, considering I we got, don't have uh, Greg anymore. Uh, let's see. I got. I got a couple comics in yesterday. I got Joker Endgame. Uh, I got Joker Death of the Family and Batman Death of the Family just because I wanted to read them uh, <laughs> together. And I, uh, he is. He's not he's struggling. I wonder what's going on with Greg. Usually, he like pops back in, like he falls off, and then he comes right back <laughs> in, like moments later. Look at Skype. Uh, let's see. I got, uh, I got a Marvel Legends. I got the fucking Magic, which I've been like hunting for forever. It was a STCC exclusive from last year. It was a, like kind of a personal grail, so I was happy to get that. And I got the Brood Queen. Build a figure. I was happy to get that. I, it was it was through uh, eBay, and it's one of those like it was this price or best offer, and like nobody ever <laughs> accepts my best offers. <laughs> like I feel like yeah. I like had like the longest trend of people like just declining my best offer, and it just came back like immediately accepted. So I got That's that. Good. Yeah, uh, Greg actually hooked me up third party, so to speak, with a blob builder figure. Oh, nice. The and, whole, yeah, the whole thing. Yep. And I got uh, Marvel Legends White Queen from the Puck Wave. Hmm. And so, like, my Marvel Legends villain shelf is looking badass. You know, I want that Apocalypse, but, like, he's just too fucking big, man. Like, I don't. I, I, I want to. Oh, the to- Toy Biz one? Yeah, let me, let, me, let, me, let me reword that. I want an Apocalypse, but I don't want that Apocalypse. Didn't they do a smaller one? They did, but he looks goofy as fuck. I don't know if I can handle him either. It was like one of the the when they went away from the old Toy Biz thing, they went to Marvel Legends right or something. Yeah. Or the, the, yeah. Was he in one of the build of figures? I think. I know. I, I know you're talking about. But I, yeah, I had that big one, the Apocalypse. Yeah. yeah. He, he's huge. He's he was a Sentinel uh, size, I think, and Galactus. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Are you back, Greg? Yeah, I am back. All right, awesome. I just want to make sure that I uh, let you know I I, I shout you out for the Blob figure. No, I wish you had just sent me a regular message and told me you got it. But hey, you know, whatever. That's why we have tracking numbers, right? <laughs> and I got the and I got I wanted I wanted I, like, I wanted to tell you. I ended up just saying it to the listeners, but I wanted to say I got the Brood Queen, I got the White Queen, and I got uh, Magic. Nice. I I got. Well, I wait my turn. Uh, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. So have at it. Oh. Is it my turn? Really? It is your turn. It's your turn. Go oh, for man, it. My phone just took a fucking. Uh, my phone. Just completely crapped out. I thought it was gonna be frozen until the battery ran down. <sighs> they got some bugs to work out. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, I got uh, Marvel Legends Nightcrawler. My X Men are almost done. I need Cyclops. Only two more. I got Marvel Legends Chameleon. Hmm. I got fuck. Get a whole lot this week. I got some LEDs for my shelves, some LED strips. Nice. Uh, just got the the booster pack today, the additional eight bars, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I got Titans Returns. Oh, oh, I got the, the whole reason I said that. I got um, actually, I got two different Marvel Legends Emma Frost, and they were both. I knew they were going to be a little smoke damaged. I don't think I can use either of them, but they were also like four bucks a piece. Um. It's a, it's the one. There was a clearer version and a regular version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Walmart yeah, so I got, I think exclusive uh, one. Or no, it was the Toys R yeah. Us. I think they had a Wolverine too. Yeah, the clear it's, one. Yeah. The clear one was the Toys R Us exclusive. Right. They had a Wolverine. Was he clear too? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think. I remember Wolverine they they had two of them came out. He may not that's be clear. A, I'll see. Yeah, that was no, that was like her diamond form. Okay. Um, I got a Vengeance, but just because. A what? Vengeance. Which one is that? The Ghost Rider character. Oh, okay, okay. okay. He's the, he's the blue he was one, right? He's purple. Blue he's got purple? the grabby. Okay, he's got purple. the grabby uh, ribs. Did you get the bike too with it? Yeah, I did. I just, nice. yeah, I just saw it. I don't think that in my box too. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I got that last week. I forgot to mention it. And the Emma Frost too. That's what made me think of it. I was like, just throw them in my fucking box. I'm just weak. Do it. Um, I got the Ben Riley Spider Carnage. Which uh, I, just, I I caught up on my Spider Man. Um, I am completely up to date, one hundred percent on all things Spider Man, uh, for better or for worse. Yay! 
Amazing Spider-Man 2015. Fucking international bullshit. Um, but yeah, so I'm caught up. So I'm like, oh man, I need all these fucking characters. So uh, yeah, so I got that. I got the Titans Return Deluxe Wave 2. Um, and they're all pretty good. Chrome Dome's a little bit. But I actually have to give it to Hasbro. Like, these are fun little figures. They kind of all like little people. Like, they have the proportions are a little weird looking at them. Like, they feel like pocket versions of the G1s, if that makes sense. So mm. I'll post some pictures at some point. Like, I don't know. They're good, though. They're, they are all fun. They're all they're all good figures. Like I said, that Chrome Dome. And I think it's because he has ball jointed hips. The ones with the other three have pen hips, and they're all tight as fuck. And then Chrome Dome's just like flop, flop, flop. And he feels like a Combiner Wars figure, but the rest of them are good. Can't get them all right. And you can't, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> what, can't get right. What, what fucking billion dollar multinational corporation gets everything right, right? right. Um, and then I got the. I got some knockoffs. Uh, I was hoping Lenny would be here. <laughs> I got the. Uh, Four box, I had to know. I got that oversized power glide, and it feels like its own thing. Like, it doesn't feel like a knockoff at all. Um, it's a little taller than Masterpiece One will be at sight. It'll do. I'll probably actually end up giving it to my buddy's kid, but I did want to check it out and know for myself. And then I got the, uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm pronouncing this right. I actually brought the box downstairs. Uh, here by Butte. Uh, knock off uh, Starscream or excuse me uh, Starburst uh, Deformation Master Scale Series MSS DO2 KBB Deformation um, oh that it's, one yeah it's, uh, it's well it's the one that, that Ben's Collectibles did a review recently of and it's, uh, oh, okay. uh, it's uh, MP11 Starscream and uh, it's pretty good actually it's it's yeah it's actually pretty good it holds together like a champ and the waist clicks in and it comes with a stand and all the accessories like all the accessories that a seekers ever come with <laughs> in the box including the coronation set so can't fault you if you get it but it's still a knockoff and uh yeah it's that i think that's it i feel we should have a separate show for greg on oh the- i did i got one more I got one more thing. I got uh, I got the uh, Clockwork Orange Alex Pop for five dollars from uh, Toys R Us, and nice. I said, "Why the fuck not?" God. I think they realized that they got some pops in that they probably shouldn't have, and they immediately put them on clearance. But uh, okay. I got that too. <sighs> you know what I find oh, interesting about that whole thing? He what? started it with, "I didn't get much this week." I know, and he's have his own separate <laughs> little show. Well, I get like little what stuff. Gets. It's, I don't get a lot. I mean, I do, I guess, but like, I don't know. I get all my stuff. I try to get it's all my okay. stuff cheap. Well, I didn't it's get good, much Justin. this week. I got the Titans <laughs> Return Skull Cruncher, and that's it. Yay! That is not much because it's one thing. Was he loose in the hips? Oh yeah, he's loose as shit. But uh, yeah, he's fun. So, Figure out polish. Except fix for that, up. Yeah, yeah, he's already done. But uh, the backpack thing sucks. Like that, that loose, flappy door. Uh, I don't know why they did that. That was weird. But yours is loose. Oh, soft door. No, yeah. no, it's not. Not that it's loose. It's that it's just impossible oh. to position because it's just a flap of rubber. Right. So okay. it'll probably be gone in like ten years when it inevitably rots and falls off. But who knows? Mm-hmm. So far, I like the two uh, deluxe actual headmasters that have been given a new headmaster treatment. So, Anyway, let's I go forgot. on. We'll go move to some... Hold on, uh, I forgot one. Oh, God. I got hard as guys. well. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It was like 12 bucks. It was on the wrong place, and I pulled that scumbag move, and I got it for wrong price, uh, tag price, because I knew. And uh, I got hard head, so I'm sorry. Hey, hey why are you uh, getting rid of Mojo? Because he doesn't stand up. Oh, well, I can't. I should be saying this if I'm trying to. So I know you're like, well, now it's twenty dollars. 
I got yeah. Now it's thirty four dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, like it sits on its little base. That's why most people just use it. Like yeah. Well, getting a spiral is going to be more than I want to put into it, and I only want a mojo because I wanted to have the whole set, like as it were, like the three of them. And it's just it's taking up some space, and it's not that important to me. I got Mojo cheap, and I didn't realize Spiral was five billion dollars. So mm. I was just like, I'm gonna go ahead and Zorana myself out. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the third one of that set? <laughs> um, oh, what's this fucking name? Shatterstar? They they, didn't, they haven't made a Shatterstar, have they? Have they not? I don't. I don't, I don't think so. I never heard of him. She was an X Force okay. character. Oh, I don't think that long shot was like associated. Oh uh, yeah, well I have long shot, and that's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, because anybody will just give you that one. <laughs> like, it like, looks hey, like are you buying extra... something? It comes with a free long shot if you're curious. Oh, I'm good. You can keep that. Well, you know what's <laughs> ironic? I actually bought a long shot for the Mojo piece, and then I bought the Mojo together, and guess what it came with? A free long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It looks like a mix between Corey Feldman from uh, The Lost Boys. And Patrick Swayze from uh, Roadhouse. Yeah, I was actually mm. I was sad to see that. I, I, that mojo oh, is one of, my, one of my favorite pieces. I was like, man, I was like, what a bummer. He didn't. No, I like it, but like I'm not that connected. It was one of those completion, like one of those like all encompassing things. I got. And you. if I don't sell it, I'll keep it. But it's like I need a spiral, and I'm not going to pay ninety bucks for a spiral. And then I saw a spiral for like thirty five bucks the other day, and like it was like posted one minute ago. And I'm like spiral. It's like sold. <laughs> Like fuck. <laughs> Let me ask you, real quick, Marvel Legends. I don't want to go. Like, you know, we could talk Marvel Legends all night. But mm-hmm. if you could do one X Men villain, build a figure for that that you don't have represented, that that you you don't like any representation currently available or hasn't been made yet, who would it be? Oh man, mine mine is mine is an obscure one. The the Fox Studio Fox. <laughs> that would, if I had to awesome. pick one, that would be villain. awesome if they made an X Men villain that was just the president of Fox. <laughs> a Mo- a, a Rupert Murdoch. Oh, that's Fox News. But... I don't know, man. Um, shit, I don't know. I can think of ones I want a new one of, like Apocalypse. Yeah, I think maybe a, a decent saber Yeah. I um I really want a Cameron Hodge. Like, yeah, the, the Extinction Agenda was like one of my favorite X Men books ever when I was a kid. I was Black like, Tom Cassidy, fucking! I don't want to waste a build a figure on that. Yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been a a, a Black Tom Cassidy or a, I want a good Sebastian Straw. Or Sebastian Straw. I was just that was the exact one I was just getting ready to say. I don't want to waste a build a figure on it. You know what I'm getting ready to say? What's that? Moving on. Well, the uh, only reason why I was Damn. installing a little bit is because on, on. Robert said he was going to be on in just a second. So. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I got something to say then. I'll just talk about it. It's, it's the weekly deluxe weight to loss. How about that? <laughs> Go uh, for it. I lost another two pounds, so I'm up to 40 in nine weeks. And I want to give a big shout out to everybody that has actually said that I've inspired of them and everything. I did. I wasn't going for that. I didn't think I was. Um, I even talked to Joe KW. I just want to get on your level, man. I really do, man. You're awesome. But um, me and him talked, um, you know, John Gibbons, you know, all these people that, you know, actually, you know, came in and said, some, uh, Micah, uh, he's, you know, they said that they started actually, you know, working out, you know, trying to lose weight too. So I really appreciate it, you know, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm glad that I was able to sway a couple people from start working out. So, yeah. Um, and so I'll weigh again uh, Friday and everything. So I'm hoping for a big loss this week. Nice. So, Congratulations, man. Thank you. I feel good. I, I, I feel good. I'm doing more stuff now and it's just, I, I'm going to, I want to go to shows and stuff, you know, now and stuff. And it's just cool. Nice. I guess, uh, I don't know what Robert D's issue is. I guess we can just move along. Oh, I do. It's not his issue. <laughs> you know what? No. <laughs> All right. Hey, in that case, <laughs> great. Um, let me ask you this. What legends are you currently on the hunt for? Um, do you believe for not five hundred dollars? Yeah. Uh, you mean existing legends? Yeah. Um, let's see. What do I need? I want the space of it on wave. Do you really? I do. Yeah, I want to get that. Oh well, I can help you with that. Actually, let's talk. 
I want the Venom too. That's what I want a lot. Oh, you just want the Venom? No, no, no. I want the whole way, but I, I want the build a figures because I think um, uh, well, Dan was selling. Oh. I think Dan was selling his separately or something, but without the build a figure, or was it the? I think it was the X Men wave. I don't know. He was selling need, some wave without those. I need Silk and Ultimate Spider Man. I don't know. Let's talk. Let's so let's talk afterwards. Let's talk afterwards. Sure. I'm just so saying that. Can, I know you didn't ask me about this. Happen actually, because I know a guy getting a re-up of cases uh, Tuesday, so I and they're cheaper cases. Well, since talking is the um, point of the show, <laughs> and Robert's not here, we're gonna move on to movie and show news, starting with the possible no, King Arthur. Gonna, no, 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 no. You want to host? No, it? You can, you, you can host it if you want to host. <laughs> but, but I believe just you said, said no. no. And I was ask a question, and then. But you and Matt, you and Matt went off on your on your tangent. And now, now. My bad, go on, Greg. What to, you looking for? What you looking for, Greg? Brother, I tried to hook a brother up. What you looking and for, this Greg? Is the I'm trying to hook the shards oh. up with a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Don't don't be making what you looking for. What are you looking for, Greg? Just say it. Shit. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Ain't shit. Fuck more religion. I'm looking for Moonstone. Toad. Uh, Series one. Toad? You, got, you got a toad. No, I never got a toad. I'm looking for. Moonstone. How much are you going for? Uh, depends, man. Like anywhere. It was one of the hard ones. Anywhere from like fifteen bucks really? to fifty bucks, depending on where you're at <laughs> and how complete it is. I just need it loose. And then uh, I'm looking for. <laughs> That's what she said. Moonstone. I'm looking for Hella still. And I'm looking for the Watcher Marvel Select. Yes. And those you have the X Force Deadpool. Those are my big three. I'm looking for a podcast that needs another host. <laughs> I would right, mind. Let's go, on. Uh, let's go on to movie. News. I would mind a storm, an '80s store, black or white, that didn't like it was buried in a sandbox. Yeah. All right, let's go. Moving news. All right, Arthur Witwicky. All right, yeah. <laughs> we can finally talk about King Arthur Witwicky possibly being cast as. Liam Garrigan, who is apparently somebody from the ABC series Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. Yeah, he played the same character. He's practically a no-name to me. That's all I'm He saying. played the same character? Yeah, he's King yeah. Arthur. In oh, that is priceless. Yes! Is priceless. So now Transformers are officially part of the Disney universe. He's like, guys, you're not so, going to believe it. I'm really good at this role. <laughs> <laughs> so we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that plot synopsis was 100 accurate so yeah this is what you get this is what you deserve he's like he's like do i really have to audition for this i've done like this body of work playing that character he kind of looks like colin farrell or not is it colin not colin farrell but colin um will farrell no the guy colin played what? a bullseye a Super ferret bullseye. a ferret <laughs> colin farrell yeah he does not look, well he might look like a ferret but all I, can like say, all I can say about this is I'm super excited to see King Arthur wielding a magic sword, Excalibur, alongside the Transformers. This is all my hopes and dreams for Transformers. If, well, this, if this is what way they go, all I hope is that there is a wizard that is a Quintesson in disguise. I hope so. Well, there was, a, there was a link. Or not a link. Well, there was a mention with a link. Uh, something about Merlin's staff. Oh, I bet, I, 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 dude, dude, don't click that. But <laughs> I tried. No, no TFW. But I clicked okay, it, and all okay, I saw was a bunch of nerds arguing, and I couldn't actually find the picture of said staff. So I'm assuming it was implied that they were waving Merlin's staff in that entire thread because they were arguing about Transformers. But no, it really was there. There was a link, but I clicked on it, and it didn't take me to anything significant. So I just said, "Fuck it." I wasted 37 seconds of my time. I wasn't going to waste anymore. All I know is I hope I can, by the time this movie comes out, I'm going to book a flight up to Baltimore. So I'm going to go watch this with Bobby Bay. He ain't watching. You hope ain't I get, here, man. We're, we hope are, I get too. Six, six tickets in the Me, front you, front. and Justin. We're all going to go watch it. Mm. Mm-hmm. We're going to wear Hell Hasbro shirts and just, hmm. And go eat there's, Castle. A, there's a number of things I'd rather do than go to the movies and watch this. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Bobby, you know that that you know what claws you got. You know, there's certain certain people you don't want to be seen with. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, that hurts. You got an image, you got an image to uphold. I have an image to uphold. I thought we'd better now, but I guess I'm not. 
All right, uh, moving third, on. Third party news. Yep, on to the third party news. You know, movie news is always such a treasure trove of information. We're going to move on to the tale of two Despotrons. Uh, better looks at Despotron as well as Ryder Despotron, which is the H.R. Geiger looking Megatron, correct? <laughs> at the uh, Make Toys product event. The steampunk pistol. Yeah. Ooh, it's got a chain. I like that. You know, the more I see of this Make Toys Despotron, I don't know. I, I keep going all over the place on this particular one. Like, all right, let's talk about it. There's certain views that I really like, and then there's other things like, ugh. And, like, I, I like... So, also with this news article, you guys, if you're following the, the notes, there's going to be a link to a comparison of the three... Uh, the three possible masterpiece-sized Megatrons you can get the... Make toys uh, in the center with the DX9 one on the left and the Apollyon on the right. So it's always when I see the Make toys one standing next to actually the DX9 one that I don't like it. Now, this particular picture in the show notes is possibly the worst looking face on the DX9 Mitron, in my opinion, the one with his mouth open. I think he looks ridiculous. But. I think the chest looks better, first off. The forearms, I think, look better. I like the thighs better. The only thing I don't necessarily like better is where the knee meets the shin. And the actual shin, you know? Are you referring to the picture of the three of them together? Yes. Okay. I was muted. I said it like six times. Six times. Robert. Um, just, just a quick add in here, not to cut you off. Um, I actually think that... I, I still think that head looks better than the, the Make Toys, even though it looks the worst face. But anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, well, and that's the other thing. The, the extra little, like, like the overall shape of the DX9 head and, like, the forehead being, like, the flat panel, like, I like that better than I like the Make Toys one. I think the eyes, if you if you do look around a little, you can see a couple other pictures where they're standing uh with a bunch of other toys, such as some of the MPs and, and stuff like that, the, the DX9 Jewalt or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, and, like, I don't know. Something about the the way the face, like, specifically the forehead and eyes look, like, I think that looks better. Just the whole head looks more accurate to the character to me. But, uh, I don't know. Hmm. I just, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm starting to fall out of love with the Make Toys one. Yeah, but I see, I, like, I, okay, so let's go through, I, 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 I can't bring that picture up as, as large as I would like, but. Yeah, the 3 one? Yeah. yeah. Just it's click, on, you don't, you, underneath you can't see the, uh, there's, there's a little view full size. Let me see, underneath. let me see, let me see. This is Bobby we're talking about. Just yeah, I'm not yeah. on the street computer. I know, I know, suit. Transformers nerds don't really. Oh, view full I size, there it. it is. Got I it. I get it. Yeah, boom. Okay, all right, so let's, <laughs> all right. So what is it that you don't like about the Make Toys, which okay. is the center one? Let's, let's start at the top. Okay? okay. I don't like the little extra detail on his forehead. Uh, in the center and on the sides? Yes. Okay. The ones like on it. the sides, I kind of like. The ones in the center, I, I don't care for. Mm-hmm. So there's uh, that. Uh, yeah. The next thing is, and it's not immediately evident in this picture... But if you see a couple other pictures of them, like the forehead and the way the eyes, like the black triangles and the red eyes on the DX9, I think just like stand out so much nicer than the Make Toys version. Um, because okay, so okay, I got you. So you're saying between like the quote unquote eyebrow, for lack yeah. of a term, there's that black shadow paint between yeah. that and the eye. Yes, I agree. I like that on the DX9 as well. Yeah, I think that's it, that looks better. And I think then, to me, the overall shape of Megatron's head on DX9 looks <clears throat> more cartoon Megatron than the Make Toys one. Okay. Now, I agree with you there that it looks more cartoon accurate. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with you. However, I don't think it looks good. Well, are we are we comparing the current head that's in the three shot that's linked here? <laughs> because just because it's the worst head. It's the um, worst one with his mouth open. If you if you look at him with the mouth closed, I'd have to see. It's way better. If I can find a better picture, I'll post a link to it. 
Um, all right, so then there's the, let, I'll go with that though. I, I hear what you're saying there. See, I I kind of think the Apollyon head has them both beat. I disagree on that one, uh, and and I think that one too. I mean, the shape of the head I think works. the The face for Apollyon doesn't work for me. It's too oval. I think. Can I? Yeah, may absolutely. I? Of course. May I, mother, may I? Of course. I think that the DX nine's got slightly better proportions. I think the head is more is shaped and proportioned a little bit better. Um, the side from the side. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the, the indigestion all of a sudden. I apologize. <clears throat> um, from the side, it's a little thin. Um, but I think the faces look a, a, a smidgen more accurate to the cartoon. I agree. I, I, well, um, that being okay. that being said, mm-hmm. I think the Make Toys is going to be. I think the Make Toys is probably going to be a little better built. I think it's going to be the more fun of the two. And I think I, man, if I could just get that and swap the fucking heads, I'd be good. Right. Like, I, I just think that, like, I think if I get the Make Toys, like, I'm not going to want for another one. Like, I think I'm going to be good. I'm not going to want for the other options. Right. I think it'll be the most comprehensive toy. But as far as, like, something on the shelf, I don't know. But I hate those fucking lower legs on the DX9. They're yeah, just, that's, that's my, my, that's biggest, my biggest complaint with DX9. That's the only so, thing I don't like. And if, if so, I'm real tempted to pick up the DX9 one. I, and the thing I find weird about it is that those front panels are gray. I feel like if they were black, I'd have a lot less of a complaint about DX9. Like, I don't understand the, the decision to go gray unless they're, like, die cast. It's got to be an artistic thing because Hegemon did that. Uh, didn't Apollyon do that? Um, like, no, there's had, been like, a the few side Megatrons. Gray stuff, but... oh, there's been a few Megatrons I've seen with that, so I don't know. But um, you know what? I, I hear, I hear, I hear. The Make Toys is going to start shipping next week, and I know for a fact that orders are going in. Like people are going to start getting the DX9 like in the next couple of weeks. So I may. I was talking to some friends of mine. Like we may just go in on on the DX9 one and all like chip in on it, and ship it around, and just see like just mess with it. And then sell it off if nobody wants it. But um, I think we get the make toys, but I'm definitely going to check out the DX9 too. In some capacity. If I have to borrow it from somebody, I will. All right. Well, let's go across all three. We'll start top to bottom. Robert, are you there? Yes, sir. Holy shit, dude. Fix that. Yep. Seriously. What? Fix what? Right, put your mic. Are you on your, on your mic? What's wrong? It sounds like shit. Wow. Sounds like you're in the fucking the high school bathroom yeah. talking into your fucking... Oh, oh, the, this is the best I got right now. Oh, my oh God. well, it's terrible. All right, so listen, it's... we're on the the Megatron. Just speak quietly. <laughs> we're on <laughs> we're on the uh, we're on the Megatron comparison photo where DX9 is all the way to the left, Make Toys is in the center, and Apollyon is to the right. Now, what I want to do is we're going to go top to bottom. Mm-hmm. Or as Pennsylvanians say, top to bottom. I don't say top to bottom. What the hell well, is that? You're not from Western Pennsylvania. No, that's not even Pennsylvania. Might as well yeah. be Ohio. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> well, I'm, um, not, I'm not from Ohio, and I don't know what the hell he's talking about either. Trust me. <laughs> uh, trust me. Believe me when I tell you, I know what I'm talking about here on this one. So what, yeah, what do you, two, you two know? Bobby of... been off the show? Can I get, uh, can I get anybody else? All right, so hey, we'll, here. we'll start at head and, head and back barrel. <laughs> okay. Uh in which Barrel. one which which one is the best? <laughs> Barrel. And we'll go around. Matt. Um as far as head and barrel, I'm going with the the uh, make toys. Okay. Great. It's the best. Are we talking head and barrel height? No, just or... just just aesthetics. I think the barrel on I think I, I'm okay with both, with the DX9 and the uh, Make Toys. Um, oh man, I don't know. I don't care about that shit. That's not what I care about. I think the head shape on the DX9 is the best. Okay, so we're gonna. Give I don't care DX- about the fucking barrel. All right, we're gonna give you DX9 for that one then, Justin. 
Uh, head DX9 barrel. I, I I gotta admit that uh, Make Toys does it better. Robert, uh, you talking about on his arm or on, over his shoulder? Over sh- uh, behind his back. I would say DX9 for both because the Make Toys uh, has that screw hole showing. Okay, that's fair. and it's higher up. Okay, fair. I didn't even notice that. That is fair. I think and honest and true. I th- and I and you sound much better now, Robert. Uh, I just needed to normalize, you know. Personally, I th- I think Apollyon has it uh, for both. Okay. His face. You like his face? He looks like the rock, like a raccoon. I like his face better than the other two options. Mm. He has a good face. He has a good face. Um, it's like right, a so, hamburger. So so now let's do chest, uh, and we'll go mad again. Chest. We'll do chest and abdomen. I don't have to go with make toys on the chest. I like the curvature and I like the where the blue is and the red and that yellow. I like the black. I don't like the long strip across there like uh, the uh, DX9 one has. Okay. Uh, Greg. I think the DX9 chest looks more accurate, but I think like but I think the make toys one or the Maquet toys one um, looks better. Okay. Uh, Justin. Uh, see, I got split it again because I think DX9 has the better chest, but I think, and I'm looking between Make Toys and Apollyon here. I think, let me look at a picture of Megatron here, real quick, real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Make Toys for the abdomen. Okay, uh, Robert, um, chest. Uh, I'm going to say DX9 for the chest because I saw on the review on uh, the Maka toys, it, uh, it's got some, uh, some, some lineage going on. Some, uh, get, you know, uh, it's got that I mean, big hole in the side, though. I mean, that's a good point, Matthew. Yeah. I didn't notice that. That's that is a, a point. very Look good point. Look at the Meg toys. You can't even I, see I it. Saw- I thought we might do like profile. That's why I didn't mention that. That's yeah. very that's astute. Been a concern. I did, see, I would, I did I, notice that. <laughs> I would pick a Polyon, but for his nipple dimples. Um, <laughs> in terms of abs, I would say a Polyon's abs look the nicest because now Make Toys has the ab crunch, but that's articulation really. But right. you can make his chest and abs look cooler with that ab crunch. Right. Um, but I do not like the paint. Um, I think it's too, the symbols, especially a blue circle. Like I said, it looks like he ate R2D2 and he's like peekabooing through his stomach. That's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's an aesthetic thing. Whoever likes what, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So yeah. I, I guess I would say I guess I I, I like the X Nine chest and Apollyon's abs the most. Okay. I like uh, I like uh, Apollyon. I gotta give Apollyon this one as well. I would give the chest to DX Nine, but I, I hate that big hole. Mm, yeah. Um. So. So to, so to speak. See, I don't. I don't. I'm having a hard time, and I just want to throw this out here now. Doing the three, because we've all had a Polyon for how long? And like, most of us sold our Polyons already. I think, with the exception of you and Justin. So like, we've already kind of cast our lot as far as that goes. So I have a hard time. Like, well, it's not. A, it's not even about. Objective. It's not even about that. It's just like you know, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't. It does, like I can see myself. I can see myself potentially buying all three. You know, like uh, uh, like it doesn't matter that shit. Just 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 looking at them. Just uh, okay. trying to look right. objectively. All right. Okay. Just saying. All right. Oh, so, I know. That's. I'm saying I'm having a hard time because of that reason. Okay, I'm I got just, you. Just saying that. Uh, arms. Uh, Matt. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with mate toys also. Mm. Um, well. Yeah. Are we talking about the hands too, or just yeah? Yep. From top of shoulder to the bottom of the hands to the tip of the finger. Uh, man, I would think I would take um, Make Toys as arms, but I would probably put DX 9s hands on his. I like them better. Uh, Greg. Before before Greg answers, are sure. we also including the fusion cannon, or is that? Uh yeah yeah let's do that too. Oh. Does that oh, change man. your answer, Matt? No, I still go make toys on the fusion cannon too. Um, yeah, make toys, yeah. But not the hands. I still want uh, DX nine hands. All right, uh, Greg. I think 
See, I like the way the arms look on the DX9, but that's in proportion to the DX9 figure. So, um, I, I I like the way that looks better than the Make Toys, but at the same time, the Make Toys look proportionate to the figure. Um, I do think, and and you can't tell in this picture, it's the other one that the the one of the two. I think the DX9 cannon's a little too uh, far off the arm. Like I think it juts out to the to the side too much. Um, Whereas I think the Make Toys one might be a little bit too big uh, overall size, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. So that's a tough one. I, I mean, I, I, it's a tie. I can't. I can't say which one I like better. Okay. I think the Make Toys looks 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 better proportional. I don't. But Aquar oh, elbows just, are out. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Um, Justin, yeah. looking at the Trade right. Federation. So I have to go hands down DX9 on this one. Um, I think that the, you know, from the hands down, pardon the pun, the <laughs> hand, the hands look better. <laughs> um, the elbow across the board is not much. I do think Make Toys has maybe a better red portion of their elbow, but um, the thing that kills me on the Make Toys one is the like the shoulder, that roundedness to the back. I don't like that. Uh, it bothers me a lot for some reason, and I don't really know why. Um, the forearm, I like the slightly longer forearm, but again, it, it proportion-wise fills out uh, Megatron better, in my opinion. And the fusion cannon, since we're including that, like I said last week, I actually prefer the smaller fusion cannon, just because I like how that looks. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's why I give it to DX9 here. Copy. With, a second, with the second oh. going to Apollyon this time. Okay, Robert. Polyon's got the best arms because you know you can just sneeze and they fall <laughs> off. And you can out of that is true. That is what I look for in arms nowadays. Right. Um, actually, on a side note, I actually played the worst prank on my daughter uh, just last night because she was talking about her baby teeth and her girl. Who is that? Craig. <laughs> it's a funny joke. Uh, Not a funny joke. Just say it. But just anyway, talk, I, talking about her baby cool. teeth coming I want to go. I have to go pee, so I'll be right back. All right, bye, Lenny. So his uh, baby teeth coming in or growing up teeth, com- you know, coming in or baby teeth falling out. And I was like, just wait. When you turn eight, your baby nose falls off and your grown up <laughs> nose grows in. And yeah, she dang, realized, man. I'm turning eight in like two months. And she started freaking out. <laughs> man, didn't you tell me she was going to a gifted school? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, Do y'all just have now- kids to torment them? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it, it, it's your sweet revenge, well, man. Bobby, keep in mind she may be going to a gifted school, but she's still working with Robert's DNA. <laughs> <True. So, laughs> let's not let's not put too much uh, too much on the line here. Well, it was a lottery. It wasn't like an application where they they evaluate you. <laughs> um, so anyway, so, anyway. Um, now, see the thing is, it's like just pure sculpt. I like DX9, and I like that barrel so much. I, I love the proportions on it. I think it looks awesome. Um, I like Make Toy Make Toys' hands better than DX9's hands. Um, I, I just love the way DX9 looks, just the, the arms and the, everything. But I think articulation comes in comes into play when appreciating this sculpt, like it, his signature, the way he's supposed to look, and. And because Make Toys can pull off his signature arm up to the side, looking down the barrel at you, it's going to look better. The arms are going to look better posing on your shelf. You know, I mean, who are we kidding? I mean, our shelves are usually so cluttered, they're just fucking standing upright with the arms down anyway. Right. So I, I give it to DX9. Can, can the DX9 one not put his arm out to the side? No, he can. He, he can, but you got to cheat a little. You have to rotate the upper oh, arm. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. No, but he can still do it, you know. Um, I'm not the one that likes Make Toys. Goddamn. No, so I think I think Make Toys has the the arms like the best. I, I think that the DX9 one is actually the worst because I can't stand those knobs sticking out of him. Yeah, I mean, like, what are those? It, that, that's 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 one of my problems with DX9. What the hell? Their quote unquote masterpiece shit is that they're okay with stuff like that. The little peg not- sticking out yes. is what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. What it's the like, fuck is that? It's like uh, it's the mumps. It's something that yeah, I'm sure it's two, pe- two pieces that end up pegging together right. Absolutely. in the least elegantly way possible. Right, but it just looks oh, like that's, the mumps. 
But I do like I do prefer DX9's fusion cannon. I like that that is my favorite looking fusion cannon of the three. But I can't I can't stand that. That that to me is something that like when we talk about like what makes a masterpiece, like when it's like you know, it often comes down to that. Like it's like pornography. Like I, I, I can't, I don't know if I can define it, but I know it when I see it. Like shit, like those pegs sticking out there, says to me not masterpiece. So I, I usually, that, usually I would the Takara branding tells me it's a masterpiece, but you know, <laughs> right, right. Um, sorry, that's true. I that resist. Is true. Uh, using 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 the term in the literal sense, then. <laughs> Well, oh. now that you you said that, um, I, I wanted to add because I was going to wait till everybody had had said something. When I said that the arms on the DX9 look better proportionate to the body, I did mean the upper body because that's uh, those look a little long. I yeah. figured we were going to do lower body next. And yes. That's where, uh, yes. So let's 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 go ahead. Well, and can, I, can I ask a question? Wait, sure. <sighs> on the mate toys, what's those what's those flaps on the top of his? Or, you know, do they look like they move? Which like it has an open, like an open door or something like a, a latch. The GX9. No, the make toys, the middle one on on his on his forearm. He's got right. those. Uh, that, what what is that? Is that part of the elbow? No, yeah, it's, no, think it's so. on front. Right. So yeah, it's part of the elbow and the transformation. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's kind of weird. Up. I mean, it doesn't look weird. like there's doesn't it look like there's something. Look at the other photos. That's, um, is there forearm kibble on the backs of his forearms? Yeah. So, toys? yeah. So would you? It's small, but it's there. Would you rather have like the smooth shoulders uh-huh. with forearm kibble, or vice versa? Are you, are, no you asking, are you asking me? Yes. Anything but them pegs. See, I hate <laughs> forearm kibble so much. No nipple. What like, do you mean forearm kibble? Though it's not forearm kibble. It makes it makes like the the butt of the gun and yeah. the barrel of the gun. Like it's it's necessary for the transformation. It's not kibble. There's no such thing as forearm kibble. It's alt mode kibble on the forearm. I know. One issue I always have is when when do, look, but hey. some people you know will say, "Hey, that's necessary for the transformation," but that doesn't. But then you can see another company doesn't put it there, so it wasn't necessary for the transformation. It's not an absolute. It's well, just this design. You you can't speak like that, though, Robert. Like it's necessary for the transformation for that particular toy you know like okay but that that, does that mean aesthetically it's pleasing like so so you're not making sense no 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 no, 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 no. (laughs) i i i get where he's coming from so here here, look no i agree that it's not aesthetically pleasing but it's Hmm. one of those things where like would i rather have kibble on the back of the forearm which i'm i'm never going to see or have him have the mumps on the side of his arm, which I'm going right, to Right, that was just my question. That was just so. So, so it was a matter of a trade-off, right? Like, which is the lesser of two evils? Right. And for me, shit that I'm going to see regularly is the worst of two evils. Does that make I sense? Just, those that fucking nipples. Sense. Does that make sense, Robert? <laughs> it does make sense. Okay. Those <laughs> nipples. Yeah, it, it's just, it, that, that, it's, it's unsightly to me. It, that screams chug to me. When I see stuff, it's I think it's it's a matter of preference because when I see that that does, but when I see stuff, when I when I see like you know forearms that aren't necessarily just smooth, you know, and you see stuff sticking off them, it it bothers me. That screams chug to me. I hear you, but look at this picture of Megatron. You don't see kibble there. He's got that ridge. It's like a ridge sticking off his forearm. That's what it is. It just bothers me. It's his personal preference. Okay. Which is cool. That's fine. Let's talk about uh, the bottom half of the figure. So the crotch, so to speak, and uh, the legs. Matt. Uh, I'm going to have to go with make toys on the crotch. Uh, I love the legs, the the lower, the calves, because of the curve. Mm-hmm. I don't like the block, uh, right. the blockage of uh, DX9. Um, so it kind of feels like a gun, like a handle. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it to Make Toys. That uh, as far as from the silver part from the legs, uh, you know, whatever. Make Toys. It's got it's got some stuff on the side, so it looks like it's um, uh, got some indentions or something. So I guess they took a little more uh, pride into that instead of just going smooth with some screw holes uh, like DX9 has. So I'll give it to uh, Make Toys for that. All right, uh, Greg. Gregory? 
Oh, it's muted. Like I pulled Can't a rubber. <laughs> well, um, funny you ask me about the lower legs and the lower body. Um, I think the hips on the DX9, the, the hip kibble that seems to be pointing upwards for some reason is fucking atrocious. Mm-hmm. I think the thighs look great. And then I think that mess that they connect to, I think it's the lower leg, looks like absolute total shit. Right. Um, I think the Make Toys legs look better. And I think Apollyon looks like he needs to pick up a couple of pieces because he's, he's <laughs> holding together a little better. <laughs> right, right, right. Which has always been my, my main complaint with Apollyon. Because the shoulders got fixed. Everything got fixed. But those fucking legs. You can't you can't undo the design. Right. You can't undo the engineering. And right. that, yeah. That's... Ugh. <clears throat> Justin. Okay, his black diaper. Uh, I think that goes to <laughs> Apollyon. But given that... It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> He got some. He took a dump in them dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> got those two eyes looking at you too. Ooh, yeah, yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get that out of your mind when you try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> sorry, go on, Justin. I'm sorry. Anyway, I think I think I think Apollyon does tackle like the the hip skirts and everything. Yes. To me, the best looking yes. of the crew. Um, I like the front of the, of, I don't know. I don't know which, I, I think I like the front of the DX9 better than the Make Toys, but I hate those side panels like Greg pointed up, pointed out that go upwards. Yeah. The, but the, the engineering probably of both Make Toys and DX9 is probably better than the Apollyon one. That's the downfall there. Right. The thighs by oh. far, I think Apollyon has the best. Uh, followed by the make to or the DX9 because I like I think one of my big problems with the make toys ones is that the thighs look too squat for him so like he doesn't look like he's he looks like he's like a chunky bruiser more than like you know this like big imposing guy you know um going down to the the legs like uh, Polyon's dead last there with all that that trigger stuff hanging off the side there I'm um, crazy. I I I kind of I prefer. I don't know if I prefer the square or the or the rounded legs of Make Toys like overall, but I hate the way the DX9 knees meet the uh, the the shins there. Like they're too far forward. Um, so Make Toys I think does better with the legs. And then uh, I think it's kind of no. I think I guess I like the Make Toys feet better than I like any of the other ones. So it's probably with all those points added up, leans towards actually Apollyon because he won like two out of four, where everybody else, I guess, was like halfway. I don't know. I guess it's kind of a three-way tie now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm done. No, it's three-way tie because everybody everybody had two strong points. So. Can I add? Because I keep, like I said, I keep forgetting about just about a polyon except for those lower legs, which you can't get on my head. Um, look at the pictures from left to right. If we're looking at the Toy Dojo one, um, A stance, A stance, H stance. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Okay, so uh, anyway. yeah, then, oh, I, then I, I give it back. It probably goes to Make Toys then, just because it's like marginally better in the legs to me. Okay. I like it Make Toys feet too better than all. Feet. Feet. Yeah, well, I, and and oh. and sorry to cut you off there, no, no. but the I think the thing with the feet for Make Toys that looks better to me is the 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 smaller gap between the shin and the foot. I think overall makes oh, the foot yeah. look better. That is a big gap. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I think Robert. they look more proportionate as well, but that's just me. The make they're toys. wider. I like the wider uh, the feet on Make Toys. Wider. And then the skinnier. Yeah. Did you white. say wider or white? Yeah, I know. I had I had to get clarification on that one too. <laughs> and the white. God. No, I like the the white the width the wideness. He said the width. <laughs> the width. I mean, <laughs> fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Anyways, you know what I meant. Yeah. Uh, Robert. Oh, uh, I like. See, one, one thing I like about the Maki toys is the curve on the shin, but mm-hmm. that's not enough for me. Um. I, per, I mean, personally, like in a masterpiece style figure, like I think cleanliness is important, 
you know, and I think his DX9's legs clean up the best. Um, I don't like the width of the Maki Toys shins or the, I don't like the way the sides look. And um, so that kind of, uh, even, and it, 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 to the point where I, I, I like that, like, you know, I dislike that more than I dislike the downside of the DX9 lower legs. Um, because the, even though the DX9 lower legs has the issue with the knees being forward and it doesn't have the curvature, it still is cleaner. So I think it just, it's, it's like more pleasing on the eye, especially going to be standing on the shelf. You know, like, you know, you don't always get to appreciate that curve in the chin, you know, but I'll, I'll always see the sides of those legs and they just seem too wide to me. And I think the Polyon just looks like shit. But the, um, I, you know, I'm not thrilled about those side skirts on a DX9, um, but I don't know which I like less. Is it the side skirts kind of sticking? I don't think they necessarily, I think that's like, they're not, they don't necessarily supposed to point up as much as they stick out. Um uh, and the 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 market toys they're longer, so I'm not I'm not sure which I like less and which is gonna bother me more uh, when I have when I have each of them in hand. So I'll figure that out. Gotcha. Dude, the DX9 legs look like the Tide Return Black. <laughs> <laughs> Got them. Got them. Does, does that mean you like them? Got me. Got me. Got me. Got me. I gotta get DX9. Damn it. Um. So I like for for, for, the, for all right. So for the crotch, the crotch piece, I think the Make Toys is the best. But I do like the side hip skirts on a Polyon better, obviously. But but like Matt said, like it's too wide. It, it, like when you see, see them all, it does look, look it. it does look a bit more absurd. But um, I think that I, and then I think that a Polyon has better thighs as well, so to speak. But I think that the, from the knee down, like Make Toys has just slaughtered the other two, like. I, all right, so the DX9 one, I hate. I hate the lower legs. That's been the deal breaker for me with this one since the moment I saw it was those bottom legs. I think that, that there's like there's like design cues that make you feel like subconsciously that something is bigger than what it is and like more intimidating. And I think that like the the larger base of the figure working up is one of those things. Like it's a it's a very Gundam thing, right? Like when you ever see Gundam art, like their feet are like so fucking huge, and like the camera is obviously shot from down low, and it's looking up, and the head is small. So yeah. that's what I like about the proportions of the Make Toys one. But I like the Make Toys one, and then I like Apollyon, even with all that collection of shit hanging off of them. And then I fucking hate the the DX9 one in, in that regard, just that section. And that's my that's my problem is that like DX9 is the only figure here where I hate components of it aesthetically. I hate components of a Polyon in terms of transformation and all that kind of shit, but aesthetically, I don't hate anything about it. There's stuff that I like better than others, etc., of course. Same with the Make Toys one. Like, there's, like I, there's stuff that I like better than others when, in regards to his design, but I don't hate anything about either of them. But I can't stand the mumps on his arm, and I can't stand <laughs> them little legs. Polyon's got one of those diapers that where, you know, it's so bad, just putting your finger on the top of the edge of the diaper and pulling it back, you get shit on your finger. <laughs> anyway, um, what the I, I, question about the Make Toys now, the are them holes in the red part, like the, where it's showing black, or what is that? Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, is that like a, you know, because, you know, with the DX9, you know, you got silver paint. Here you just see blackness, so I'm just like, is, are there going to be like holes? If I had to that... guess, I'd say that it's a that like it's just a red like plate on top of black plastic for aesthetic reasons. Oh, okay, okay. So, well, then they yeah. do have holes in that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're doing the Hasbro thing, but that's all right. You know, you got to make money somewhere. Well, he's saying he's saying a plate on top of a flat, uh, another piece. Yeah, no. so it's not a hollow. Well, it's not piece. hollow, right? But right, I'm just saying right, right. they cut out the piece, which is I like that. It looks good. I mean, it, I, it breaks it up a little bit. I, I like that because I don't think that we're seeing like the other side of his calf. Right. Well, now and on the G1, he has just a solid. Is it solid red? Like in the twin? Uh, I don't know. The G1 was a piece of shit. Oh, whoa. whoa. Hey, calm down now. I'm, I'm, well, I'm just being honest. Uh, we'll vote. Find, we'll vote. find me a kid that has their Megatron. There's going to be somebody in the comments that has it, of course. But find me a kid that has his Megatron from when he was a kid. It's not fucking broken. 
I wish they could do like a toy mode where you put a big tri- the trigger can flip up to his crotch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. All right, I think we've done enough time to this, but I mean, they're all there's good things about all of them, and there's mm-hmm. there's there's and and none of them are perfect. So, I'll call my toys. You know. I don't. Yeah, I see, I I'm I'm still stuck. I still don't know exactly what I want to do. There there is a lot about DX9 that I really really like. You know, and it's killing me. Like, I really am having a hard time figuring out which one I want to throw in on. Because I definitely don't want three Megatrons. Like, I'm going to be trying to get rid of my Apollyon later, which I probably should have done that, like, a month ago. But, <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't want... money. I don't want three of them. Yeah. No, and I think that, like... <sighs> I don't think there's a necessarily I, I haven't handled the make toys or the the other one, so I don't I can't say that for sure. But I, yeah, that's next week. But I don't think yeah. I don't think that there's one here that's like it doesn't just just from looking at it, it's not like there's a clear loser. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I agree. I I think you know like I think there's like going to be what, a lot of people who are going to be quite happy keeping their Apollyon on their shelf as long as they're not going to look to transform it. Right. You know, right. and <laughs> if you get the Make Toys one and, like, you like how he looks, like, you know, that's good, too, because, like, it, it, like, everything I've nitpicked about it is just that. It's a nitpick, you know, like, yeah. it's me picking my personal favorite to have in my collection. Like, it's not like, well, this is, I just can't own this because it's crap looking, you know, like. Right. So. I think it's it's so much personal preference with all three. It's like, you know, there's going to be people that are like, look, I don't want that made toys one because of all the line work. I want it to look like it walked off the cartoon screen. Yeah. And I'll be like, dude, I, I totally get that. And right. there's going to be people like me that are like, I don't want his arms looking like they had the, the measles. And somebody else is going to say, look, I, <laughs> I, I, I totally get that. And then, yeah. you know, and et cetera, et cetera. And then somebody's going to say, I don't like the curvature of the like, legs because like, that's not how he was in the cartoon. I'll be like, I get it or whatever. And then somebody be like, well, I don't like the little square boxes he's got for legs. Like it's, it's just so much personal preference. Yeah. That, uh, like, and, and like to go off what you're saying there, like, you know, like one of the things for me, like you guys didn't like the gap on like the black hole on the side of the make toys arms, but I don't like the, the that's leg- DX9. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. The DX nine arms. But I don't really care for like that line that goes straight across the chest, which to right. me yep. is I don't more care important. For that either. You know, like I, I want, I, I think the chest is more important to me than more iconic than the sides. You know, like I don't care yeah. about the sides. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think well, all three of them are decent options, and you know, maybe somebody out there is just looking for people to sell off their, <laughs> uh, you know, Apollyons to get them for a good price, and it's still a decent toy too. So. Yeah. I think I'm, uh, I'm waiting for Takara to come in, just knock the shit out of all of them. So. I, you know, like they say, every time you start to see third party companies releasing a whole bunch of shit of the similar figure, then that's when Takara's got something lined up. So I yeah, wouldn't be they're surprised. Not, they're going to make a gun. Are they really going to make a gun? I mean, it's not outside the realm of possibility. For the Masterpiece, yeah. Plus, it's in, it'll be a Takara. So, yeah. Plus, I, I, I don't know how plus it'll be a Takara means anything, but. I do. Well, how? because. Because Takara can do that. Uh, Am I muted again? No, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I didn't know because it feels like I am. Um, the because Aww. the gun, the same gun law, uh, that, that same thing doesn't apply to Japan, and Takara is a Japanese market toy. That's why. So I if they want, if they want to make it, they made the first one. It. Right, but I mean, like, like what I'm saying is they that can ship it. They can I don't, ship I don't robot, see but. how saying it's Takara means anything different than saying it's any company from over that area. Is what yeah. I'm saying. Well, versus Hasbro. Oh, that's, what yeah. I, that's what I mean. That's what, yeah. I, that's what, I, that's what I was trying to get. I'm not, well, even, Hasbro, not even in the yeah, fucking you, conversation as far as I'm never concerned. See it, you'll never yeah, see it Matt, over Matt here in Matt said Toys that. Matt said yeah. that. So you I'm saying that Takara is Takara. Well, there's only two companies. Yeah, Takara yeah. and Hasbro. Right, 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 right. Before, before, move on, before we move on, I just do want to mention, I think um, in terms of standing on the shelf with the other Decepticons just standing there, uh, DX9 will look the best. But I think taking photos with his articulation that Maki Toys is probably it, it destroys the other ones because because he looks so great and he's so much better articul- articulated, Bobby. <laughs> I definitely I definitely think that that makes a big difference. And also based on the reviews that I've seen, I thought originally I assumed that the DX9 would be Never the m- the most intuitive 
uh, transformation. And while it appears to be a good one, looks like the Make toy is the most exciting transformation out of the three. When you say Make, it irritates the shit out of me. I don't know. It does I know. Make you. <laughs> I know, but then somebody recently said it's supposed to be Make toys. Don't give a shit, I'm American. Don't give Earth. a shit. I'm going to masturbate to my Make toys. I oh, make toys. Back. I'm going to <laughs> Bobby, which one are you going to get? I mean, are you going to change? Because didn't you say that the, that was the one you didn't feel like you needed to change out? You would have on. Ah, there's my indigestion again. Yeah, so you didn't feel I, like I'm, you st- st- uh, like, uh, I'm still undecided. I need Decisions. I need DX9 to send me one, and I need Decisions. Make Mach A Toys to uh, send me one. Do it. And then it's a car to make their shit. Who, whoever is the superior... I will send the other one back, Damn. and I will buy the other one. Don't so even ahead. buy it. Man. Fuck do it. it. Let's do it. But, you keep that shit. No. But I, I, I'll say, like, I don't just just from looking at them and not handling the other two, just on the strength of the looks. And I'm sure both the other two blow a Polyon out of the water in this regard. <laughs> but without taking that into account, aesthetically, I don't see a strong need to switch up. Well, I feel a strong need to switch up the topic of the podcast. So we're going to move on. Let's do it. To Steel Pests. What the fuck is this? Steel Bug. That's exactly what I said. Holy shit. Is that a Transformer? Let's have a gander. It's it's kind of like a third-party company was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make some movie bots. Because that's really what this thing looks like. Like, It's a weird metal slug type. Uh tank and then it's like the weirdest looking bug ever it looks like that ejector toaster but turned tank oh this is insecticon from uh return of the fallen yeah exactly you can't even get the name of the fucking movie right matt jesus christ it's revenge of the fallen i know (laughs) ah what the fuck ever return revenge (laughs) god damn you're so busy back back trying to trying to trying to trigger is that what i'm doing is that what i'm doing shout out to this shit for having 11 likes (laughs) <laughs> hey man, this thing looks uh, looks kind of cool. If I was into aesthetic, I would buy it. It's got a lot of character, but it is not a character <laughs> ID. <laughs> you know? It's got a fucking shovel. Oh, God. That's for his shit when he goes out in the back to the woods and takes a dump. <laughs> so you don't like a, a, a third party movie verse style uh, Transformer? This is not a movie verse, though. Well, it kind of looks like the the thing kinda from. Uh, kind of looks like Igor from Dark of the Moon. Yeah, kinda I remember his not. name and the title of the movie. Yeah, it kind of well, like doesn't, but it don't make you rot. You know, it's not. You know, so rot. go fuck yourself. Rot? That, it, I don't, but it does though. It does well, look. You just can make like one of my fucking part. voices. If that's what you got. You know, stoop down to. I mean, whatever. It's the accent. I mean, you make my from my accent, whatever. But that's all you got. Man, goddamn. What what show Actually, we on? One thirty something. Is it, you know. Funny, ha ha. One thirty-eight, man. Just saying. It still don't. It still don't. It's not a fucking character. It's still not Mark, a fucking character. I was actually making fun of fucking uh, Bobby making fun of your voice, but hey, you know, that's just, uh, that's just me. Also, also uh, not the voice. Still yeah, not a character. Exactly. Still think your voice is smooth as silk. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's the it's the mm-hmm. pronunciations and the inflection that mm. you get. Yep. So who right. who's how much is this thing? Yeah, that's a good question. Fifty bucks. Oh man, I'm calling you out, Justin. It says sixty nine ninety nine. Uh oh. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you sons of bitches. Is there a price on it? No, 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 no. Right. I can see fifty bucks though. What you said, Greg? I can see fifty. I can see that. I think it's gonna be more. I think it's gonna be seventy nine ninety nine. At least. Shit. It's got a lot of paint on it. Like I said, he's a little good. These will look good with my Dark Side of the Moon masterpiece figures. I wonder if the so, trip... uh... is that is that made by Wei Zhang? Is that who's making the <laughs> DOTM masterpieces? That was Return of the Fallen. Return <laughs> of <laughs> the Age of Extinction. Of um, uh... it's, it's, it's Dark Side on <laughs> the Moon. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, a shard is getting a shout out in the next note. I'm just putting that on. It's it's age after extinction. All right. Well, kind of butts. Let's move on <laughs> to the cease and desist add-on kit for combiner. Oh man, 
if that was really like if they did a play on the S, <laughs> that should. would be fun. I might buy it just on the name if they that's should. what it was. Season this is toys. Talking about fucking polishing up a fucking. I don't like using that word. Cause well, it look, sounds juvenile. I'm talking wanna, about polishing up a turd. I want to give a special shout out to Jared L. And his profile picture with his lovely wife. Or maybe it's his sister and they're at a family reunion. Who's mm. to be sure? But I think it's his wife who said, why not just make a whole new figure at this that's, point? That's exactly <laughs> When I opened it up, I was like, the whole thing is practically a new toy. Like, you just, you, you reused his arms. Like, that's it. Like, everything <laughs> else just uh, strapped on. And the only thing that is showing from the original toy is the arms. And then two well, two people commented right underneath it. They both said the exact same thing. Less money. Why couldn't they fix the arm flaps? You know, in their defense. In their Please defense. Defend them. defend them. In their defense. Most people who still have this toy are and are inclined to buy an upgrade kit are of that mentality that third parties places upgrade kits and that's okay. But once you buy a new figure, it's a knockoff. So they could remake 80% of this figure and sell it as an add-on kit and get that money. But the second they put the other 20% into it and made it a whole new figure, it's a knockoff. I'm not going to buy it. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm, just, I'm saying, though, like I think like that's a valid... Where in the... I mean, that's are you going to have to take though. apart some shit? It looks like you may have to take apart some... <laughs> I, I actually was wondering that too, Matt, because like I don't see how this thing. Where's his chest go? I mean, his yeah. chest, his feet. Where does fuck his feet go? Figure that tells you to remove this is the like, arm. It's like you're turning uh, you're turning Optimus Murphy into uh, to Robo Prime. <laughs> well, and, and, and and I've noticed that they this doesn't hasn't featured any actual picture of the truck mode, so like I don't even know if that's even something it can do, you know. Um, can it combine? Wasn't there a picture of the truck? I thought it was a picture of the truck and uh, and a combined mode. That might have been something else. Yeah, I, I didn't Maybe see I that. Missed. I don't know. I, I seriously think you take the whole lower leg off from his thigh and you – no, even his th- – that's different thighs. So you take I, everything off. You take the lower half. Yeah. And, and <laughs> now, what is – is that no. a diamond in his uh, hand? He, or did his gun break off in his fucking fist? One, one, hey, right one, one thing I want to give them credit for. It looks damn good standing next to the Combiner Wars Megatron. It does. It really does. That is one it, thing I will give them credit for. They've taken that turd and made it look awesome next to that this Megatron, is a whole in my opinion. Fi- this is a whole new figure. It might as well be. It's it's just an armless figure, and they, the instructions say remove arms from Combiner Wars Prime and, and screw onto this. No, just the forearms, <laughs> too. Not the whole arm. Just the forearms. Yeah. Because <laughs> even the Autobot symbol is different, or I might be, that might be the lighting. <laughs> Everything's different. The biceps are bigger. I mean, look, the ch- the, the lower atom, ad- adamum is different. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Did I not say that? Adamum. Ad- Adamum. Ad- He's talking Ad- about a Marvel character named Adoman. I thought he was ordering Adamame. <laughs> I thought Matt was asking Adam in my group. <laughs> I, thought I, thought he was, Ad- I thought he was Ad- just <sighs> shouting out uh, Adam from Great Radio. Talk. Radio. Oh. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Adam too, man. He's 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 Adam a good guy. Adam Adam's a good guy, man. Adam is like a good dude. I like that dude. I I I can't wait to meet him at TFCon. I'm gonna hang out with him too. Give me a skull fest. I won't be a skull. Jinx, Robert D. <laughs> Got that phone money. Got that phone money. Got that phone money. Got that phone money. It only that costs hundred dollars. Yeah, screw y'all. Got that. I'm trying. Got that I'm Ford trying. Max money. Got that Ford Max money. Oh, yeah, you got me on that one. Shit. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, shout out to anybody buying this upgrade kit. Shout uh, out. You, you win, man. You win. Super committed. There is so much stuff going on that there's a very small part of me that wants to check it out. But Ad- I won't get it. Abdomen. Oh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> How do you say it? Ab- abdomen. 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 <laughs> eh, whatever. Oh, That's- man, I love you. Eh, fuck you yeah, Oh, my God. What are you, 37? <laughs> Matt, are you going to be uh, offended if the show's title is Abdomom? <laughs> it's like the Octomom. Oh. Abdomom. 
I'm not gonna talk for the rest of the show. Uh, you better. You uh, better. I'm triggered. Just, just think. Just sound it out before you do. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm Moving good. Moving on. Big shocker. Fans Toys reveals a render of FT25 Outrider, who's coming soon in 2022. <laughs> Outrider being Trailbreaker. So, uh. That alt mode sucks. Yeah, the alt mode Looks sucks. Looks like a render curse. <clears throat> What'd you say? Render Greg? yourself out of here. No? Okay. Greg, Greg said it looked like a redneck hearse. No. That bottom picture looks <laughs> yeah. like a redneck hearse. I can see it. I don't. I hate the way the windows are on the cab of the truck. I think that looks terrible. Um, Wait, the cap, I should say, not the cab. Okay. Um, the slant of it is fine with me, but the actual window on it sucks. I think it looks terrible. Uh, the truck itself, I think, looks good, except for the big hinge on the side. It's super distracting, and I hate that. I really don't like that. The, uh, now, I was talking to, uh, shout out to Cody. I was talking to Cody about this on online the other day. And, uh, okay. I understand the scale that Fans Toys is going for here. But something really bothers me about the fact that he's the same size as MP Ironhide. I just feel that's too tall for Trailbreaker. I don't know if anybody else agrees, if it's just my own, you know, well, personal taller. thing. It's, it's like, here's the thing though. Okay. According to the Sumbo chart, he's exactly the same size. Right. Exactly. So what are they supposed to do? Yeah. Well, I, I know, I know. And, I, and that's why I said, I understand what they're doing. For me, it doesn't work. I want him to be smaller than Ironhide. Well, gotcha. you know what? If you look at the top of his chest, it's higher than Ironhide's chest and his chin, the bottom of his chin is higher than Ironhide's. Mm -hmm. He looks, he looks taller than Ironhide. He does not look. Right, he looks too big. Like he looks to me the size that Inferno should be to Ironhide, and he should be sitting like at most exactly the same height as Ironhide. Preferably, I would like to see like the top of his head come to like Ironhide's like eyes. Personally, that's like what I would like to see. Mm. Uh, and that's just me. I mean, that's yeah, very I for everybody. Can't, I can't get with you on that one. The 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 other thing that really bothers me the way the the truck hinges down. I hate yes. That. I, I don't like that either. I hate the way that looks on the front there. <clears throat> I don't like that it, either. But that's actually tune accurate. Uh, that's tune accurate for hoist, but not for trail breaker. Moist. It looks like a big old mouth. It's like a gar. It's kind of smiling at you. <laughs> like from cars? Yeah, but like you know, actually you, like you know, like you know, Robert Trailbreaker isn't like that. Like his chest pretty well molds into the front window on in the cartoon. He yeah, doesn't have higher. like hinges sitting there. Correct. Well the color's off too. Shit. While we're nitpicking. <laughs> <laughs> um I do think that they nailed the legs. Yes. Like just in terms of the way it looks in comparison yeah. to the other two. They they have the best looking feet of all of them too. Feet. Yes. Feet. <laughs> I know we need to have a, a point five show and go ahead and get all that feet out of our system, <laughs> so we don't feel the need to, to do it every time someone says the word feet. It's like it's, it's like a, it's like the magic word, man. Yeah, everyone says feet now. It's like fucking pee wee. Yeah. Like, ah! Exactly. We don't like it. Trends. Greg? Didn't like it. Like it all. Um. Oh, I, I I I like it fine. I just don't think it's a. A point of uh, of argument. I just think it's it's one of those it's just things. Just fine. There, Matt. Oh, you know it's what else? I, I just saw. I dislike. What's that? Because I'm looking at the cartoon. The uh, see those little like things. Like uh, okay, I call them things, but they're clearly <laughs> what the what the shoulder joints on there. Like they stick out. Like yes. The little butterfly. Like that is to me just as bad as what Ironhide has going on with that that like weird hourglassy thing. You know what I'm oh. saying? Like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see if it, it like, uh, like just looking at it here doesn't bother me as much. He's got like a little star, like, like he's wearing a little badge to the, to the right of his uh, windshield. No, no, no. I, I, I know. I see the part that you're looking at. Yeah. I just let me see. I want to see what. Uh, where are the other companies? MMC. They're doing one, right? Trailbreaker. The, 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 I want to see what they did. This one that I dislike the most. Is I is is that chest hinge? Mm -hmm. like yeah, it that should, kills me. It, it should sit up higher. Yeah, and hide that that hinge. 
can't you hinge me higher? This is the first time <laughs> with a fan's choice thing that I just like I have been kind of disgusted at it. I don't like it at all. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, and like I'm looking, I'm going back and I'm I'm looking at the Bad Cube and the Make Toys Trailbreaker, and like they are the height I want next to. Iron well, they're, they're the same. Two of them are the same size. Uh, uh, let me see here. Bad Cube. Is, is is the shorter one? Fans toys. Um, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Disregard. Fans toys and MP Ironhide are the same size per Sumbo chart. MMC and Bag Cube are the I, same size right. at a quarter inch smaller yes. than Ironhide, which is off yeah. in comparison to the Sumbo chart. But I like how that looks personally. Like, hey, that's, that's, it's that's my, my my my. You win. Person, I like yeah, that. Win. But like, I do think that. Uh, Fans toys has nailed the the legs and specifically the feet look way better on on this one, but uh, that chest I don't know. Yeah, the chest is 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 the the, the issue that I have as well. Yeah, that and, side view that chest is wide open. Bad cube and fans toys for the record also don't have as bad of that like shoulder joint thing. Like it's more cartoon accurate on both of those comparatively. So I don't know. I I, I think I'm still in for. Bad cube. Hey, I'm possibly MMC. Oh, bad cube. I'm still in for bad cube. I'm in on I'm in on N- M- MMC, chart. but I can I mean, I could be swayed Fuck at right least for ass. for Trailbreaker. Um, or Trailbreaker, Hoist. Hoist is the one that I feel like I could be I could be swayed on because he's kind of more accurate to the TV show, I guess. But are we, know. Are we going to talk about why they actually put this out? I, mean, I understand why, but you know, uh, same beliefs. Tactics, you know, they've always been doing. You know, now this ain't gonna come out till next year, but I doubt it. Yeah, I. All right, so so let's start there then. Let's start there with release schedules because we can go that route. Why do you doubt it? Uh, They haven't. I mean, usually they're late on their stuff. Okay, but I mean, like they have. They do put out a lot of figures a year. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree with that. Well, isn't Bad Cube, isn't Bad Cube and uh, MMC due to come out in the next couple months from yeah. here? Yeah, I think Bad think so, Cube was yeah. initially supposed so. to be September, wasn't it? Maybe September, so, maybe. October. Maybe October. So this is just an early render. Why wouldn't they just hold off on this? Why would they announce this now? This is that same argument, right? Like this is that same. That's what I'm saying. Why wouldn't they wait? Because they said what April of next year. I, I'll I'm probably see this around on here. August. I'm, I'm or... setting Matt up. No, I mean my my question is. Don't call me if, a bone. If, if, I need meat on it. If if Matt has a third party company and I have a third party company and I had something in the works and Matt has something in the works but he's further along and he drops his, you better believe I'm going to drop mine. Yeah, I can understand that too. But I think I think what's going on though it, that would work if collectors knew this was coming out sooner it's just too far away so it's sure. really insane but what if you were a third party company third party company that always kind of had something waiting in the wings and well from what whenever... we hear most of them have many 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 designs so to have like super popular characters well, I know it's just a, it's a with some companies it's more of a reoccurring uh, coincidence than it is with others. Yeah, what they should have done. I mean, this is like bland. Even though the figures may be great, it's just such a bland release. It's very what, great. What, what a, mm-hmm. Yeah, but, <laughs> it's almost well, like it's like some really early work too. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, we'll possibly, just take this. Possibly only on the computer, even you know. But I'm what I'm saying is what I'm saying is just releasing oh we're doing trailbreaker 2 it's just not exciting i don't think it's getting anybody like whoo i like when they finally released the skyfire what they should have fucking done I, I don't i can't imagine they don't have a render for cliff jumper like why the hell wouldn't they release that then people yeah. would be like oh that would be exciting or that, jazz that's what cody and i were talking about too i don't even think jazz is necessary with everybody else who's released yeah if they jazz. did a jazz right now everybody would be singing the blues too I, mean. I i i do think like, go ahead, make a good cliff jumper. You know, like, I know a couple people who have designed some cliff jumpers, and, you know, they 
they look good. So somebody like pick that ball up and run with it. Make a good cliff jumper. Uh, what else? Gonna jump into triple changers. Do a broadside. Yeah, like you know, like or you know, like one of the one of a lot of people's favorite things of fans' toys. You know what? You know, without considering the Dinobots, like people love the bugs except for one guy on my channel. I'm sorry that yours broke. But, you know, there's a lot of people who really like the Insecticons. Like, why not go ahead and deluxe. make some deluxe yeah. ones? You know, like... I think that's because of that cartoon shit, man. I really do. But I'm with you. I wish they would do it as well. Yeah. Well, what I was going to say is, you know, with the Bad Cube and the MMC coming out, you know, Bad Cube makes a you know a good product. Sure. What what makes you think that, you know, after, you know, this is going to be so long, far along... Who's going to trade in their back queue to go for fan story? There might, I mean, there will be some. I, I understand that, um, but I don't I mean, know. It's just kind of. I it's think just, it's all right. So, like, here's the thing. I'm do for, another character, like you said. You I'm know. in for the back queue. Um, I'm in for the MMC. And no, well, I'm, I'm just using it for Matt's for Matt's for Matt's comparison. But like those Insecticons, right? Mm -hmm. There, there are very few. Like all the uh, back queue was smart by putting all those three in a box set. You know, I made it one purchase. It was a clean purchase. They were done. Like that. That's there's a big appeal there, and they were first. And, but a lot of people got rid of them as those fans toys bugs started coming out. And up to, you know, total. I mean, all three of them came out a, a year later. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I think they're wasting their time with this. I, I agree. Should, I would like rather said, see them. They should be. Yeah, I'd rather. See I would. A, I would definitely buy deluxe Decepticons in a heartbeat. Yeah, but but besides that, like besides jumping on the bandwagon, because that's what it's coming off as. Like if they've released a, a, a render for a sea spray or a cosmos, you know, oh, yeah. forget clip jump or like they do that scale nice, nicely. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. just like an Insecticon scale. More people would be excited too because you you know you have Backcube and MMC coming out right now, so everybody's kind of excited for Trailbreaker that way. They may lose their, you know, lackluster, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, six, seven months from now. Oh, another trail break come out. Well, I, you know, that was they, the last year. They may, or they may not even do it. They, like, right. they like didn't if, do the hot if, if one of them, mm -hmm. like if if Bad Cube or MMCs, like comes out and it it fucking, you know, sphinxes the game. Mm -hmm. they, they they may not even do it. Yeah, that's understandable. They may, just, yeah, that's you know, they just put it out there, and which is no harm. You know, they can put whatever they want out there. You know, just say, hey, we got this coming. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, yeah. But yeah, whatever. I mean, I, I would like to see them do like awesome. be, be, oh, like idea. have because I'm sure that what we're seeing is shit they've had. So like, oh, yeah. I, but I would like to see them do it in in terms of you know releasing images or teasing fi upcoming figures. I would like them to be more on the innovative side rather than the the competitive side all the yeah. fucking time. You know, absolutely. One up been shipped. But if you fucking got it, like I, I, I understand it also. Like I understand that that motive yeah. for getting it out. Oh yeah, I understand both sides. There's there's a reason. You know, I just think that people are going to lose interest in Trailbreaker from a year from now. You want to do a one-upsmanship? Do a better Ironhide. That's, you know, I mean, hey, I wouldn't cry about that. I, I think they they they're 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 like in denial here. I think I think they they already lost the race and they should fucking give up. Between them, MC and Bad Cube, they're not. You know, it's not going to be. Yeah, that's pretty stiff. That's pretty stiff, so to speak. Competition. Do you <laughs> think? Do you think that MMC has given up on their bugs? No, I heard they're still coming out. Oh, okay. It's like, yes. we, like we didn't see anything for so long. You know what I mean? It's yeah. been a while too. That's been in the makes what two, almost two years, almost. Yeah, I mean, people. But, you know, I think I people are. Something. I think people are happy with the fans' toys. One, I don't think they would even. Uh, unless you want to build a swarm, that'd be pretty cool. But I would. I'm game. I would love those bugs. They look great. All right. But, but yeah, I, I, like you know, like uh, I don't know, man. I, I I would much prefer to see something different, but I I get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, just focus. Go big. But let, right let, let, right let now, these... everybody's in the pre-order stage. Let you know, these people, so the yeah. availability to cancel a pre-order and put your money somewhere else is definitely there. So, but, but the problem yeah. is, is the reputation that that's 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 building. You know, yeah, it's 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 
you know, like, I love the fan story stuff, but it really is starting to make them look like a pretty shitty company. Like, when yeah. they just keep doing this over and over and over, you know, like, like, okay, so. Check if, out my Galvatron. If, if another company was like, you know, and we've seen pictures of Grimlock now, but like, you know, back before we got there, if another company had put out a Grimlock, I wouldn't even have thought twice when, when fan story is like, hey, here's our Grimlock, you know, like. Right. Because you already set the precedence that you were going to do them with the other Dinobots. And right. like, but like now, like, I don't know. You're just being like, for lack of a better term, it's just a bitch. You know. <laughs> like, Let me ask you guys a question. That's really what you're being. So. Let me ask you guys a question. If, uh, and this was kind of something Jisk and I were talking about earlier this week. Hey, Jisk. If, if the toy companies, uh, huh. the third party toy companies, were to January one every year drop a list. And say this is what we have in the plans at some point. I'm not giving you release dates, but this is something that's at least in the render stage. And it was just a fucking list, just names on a list. Hmm. Would then how like would you prefer that over you know MMC reveals their Trailbreaker, and then a week later Bad Cube reveals theirs, and then a month later Fans Toys reveals theirs. Would you prefer that everybody just had, like, look, this is what it is, and we'll release it as we can? Don't you think it'd be the same just now that it is? You know, everybody just putting out the same stuff? Maybe. But I'm, I'm, yeah, asking, but... I'm asking you as a consumer. Right. I think it takes out the popcorn factor. I enjoy the drama of it. So it's like, it's a um... bit... See, see I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Robert. Like, I, I like, I like waking up and not knowing what I'm going to see. Mm-hmm. So, like... Yeah. You know, when I don't, I don't get too upset about you know, like oh, well, somebody else is doing this, like, you know, like just like when Bad Cube dropped theirs, I was like, sweet, because I kind of prefer. The, there was something about that MMC Trailbreaker that didn't quite f- sit with me properly, and then the Bad Cube one looks, it sat with me better. It's always good to have competition. <clears throat> you know, make, it brings out the better. But what would be really exciting is the thing is this isn't exciting. It just, it's like negative. It, it almost comes off as negative. It doesn't come off because it is so far away and it's very well, one up, attempted one upsmanship. But I think they would be truly one upping everyone else if they showed their fucking render for Omega Supreme. You know, because we know that exists. Fucking show it. You know, that you, that's, you're, you're, you're at the cutting edge by doing that. As opposed it's to wasted, follow. It's wasted resources. It's wasted time. It's wasted potential. It's wasted talent. When all these companies do the same fucking thing. I agree. If one, if one would, if if three companies put something out, then step up and drop it, and move on to something else. Because you're doing your consumer base a service. You're you're adding. You're not. You're not taking away from a finite pot. You're not. You're not trying to split one share into, you know, yeah. one quarter portions. One Bobby, quarter you know better than me. portion. <laughs> you're adding an entire <laughs> share. But, and then but, later, if it if it if it happens, then show your release later. If the other three suck, you can show your other one. Well, let me ask you this though: What's the acceptable loss? You know, like what do you mean? Like, uh, so each design is is ballpark ten grand. So, like, save it for later. That's what I'm saying. Show it later. If you think it's that strong, you paid for it. You bought it, so you must think it's strong. Put your money where your mouth is sure. later. But but how not strong? When fifteen other people are doing it. But the problem is, is, is like you know would. Like who? Who do you think is the? Uh, I don't know. What What is your favorite third party piece? Oh, that uh, Engineer General Action Master Devastator. <laughs> Hands down, <laughs> favorite third party piece. I'm dead serious. I've okay, said it. fine, I've said it fine, fine, fine. Let's say that. Uh, what's your favorite third party company? Um, it's a flip between Make Toys and. Oh, I don't I'm know. Kind of like. Giga. I, I think I'd say make toys overall. Okay, um, for a second. You know, like other for consistency purposes, but I do like other pieces by other companies. Se- second favorite for the sake of conversation. 
KFC. Um, before and after. Matt, shut up. I think. Uh, I think there, words. Boys. Uh, well, it's it's not uh it's not thirsty. I'll tell you shut that. Up. Um, I think. Uh, Unique toys. Okay, um, so let's say Unique toys came problem. out with an Action Master. KFC is is uh, jumping up there. So let's say Unique toys came out with an Action Master Devastator. I'll never say fancy toys. Would you switch up? Yeah. I don't think KFC's gonna come up with an Action no, Master. No, I'm saying Devastator if Unique doesn't. toys, if Unique toys dropped one today and said we got this coming, would you switch up? Uh, no, I wouldn't because that actually a particular piece actually means something to me as well. Okay, that's but I'm just saying favorite. as a general rule, if you have like it's it's like Sphinx, <laughs> like I can't see a third party company making a Mirage that I would switch my my Sphinx out for. I just can't see that happening. Whether it's one year, two year, three years from now, I just I can't. I can't it's hard for me to fathom such a thing. Hmm. Well, you said that about uh, you said that about the um, the Megatron too. And you're thinking about switching that out, so I I, I don't think I, I don't think so. <laughs> he did actually. I, I, I said that there, no. Let me tell you so. There's when we had that discussion about what third party would you uh, yep. you know what's your definitive version of a character? Yeah, but I don't think I said I would never switch out. Did I say I would never switch out a Polyon? You said I, pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, but I got the impression just because he said that he box the part is... sitting on yourself. Yeah, I thought I got the impression, in all fairness to Bobby, that he, the, when he was saying that, it was just that box is checked and I'm moving on. Not like this is the be all and end all Megatron for me. I just didn't think he was interested. It just satisfied it and he was focusing somewhere else. Well, at, it, at any rate, it's, it's, it's what I'm hard, saying is that, I mean, there are very few pieces that I can't see myself switching up, to be fair. But like, the only, the only company that I can see myself switching Sphinx out for. Would be a Takara masterpiece, and that's only if it was on the level of something great they've done, you know, like uh, the, their sound wave or whatever. Like, so what I'm saying is that, like, if you have the, if you've paid ten thousand dollars and you have a design, and you know that somebody, that two other people might be eating up, you know, potential money for you, it's going to be hard not to to do that if that's the case. It's going to be hard Ooh. not to let that cat out of the bag. Yes, but I think a better tactic, right? A lot of this is perception and fervor. So, um, you know, a, a reputation, right? The strength of, of just your name and the trust that the consumer has in the company. So I think it's a better idea to, if you have a trail breaker design, that's good. But you have other competitors coming out with arguably, you know, on par with yours, trail breakers. Rather than release the, the, the render for it now um, and not really garner that much excitement because now the collectors are splitting up that, you know, they're, they're deciding on, you know, you're not getting the whole market share there no matter what. Um, hold off. Don't release that render. Instead, get the consumers excited about your, your, your designs that no one else has released yet. Like I said before, like say it's say it's Cosmos or Sea Spray or Omega Supreme, keep them fucking psyched about your company, saying, "Oh my God, this company's this shit. No one else has done anything like this yet." And then next year release your Trailbreaker, because then you're more likely to snag more people willing to say, "Well, that fucking Cosmos was amazing. I'm gonna check out this Trailbreaker, even though I have last year's model." I, you can, know, I can agree with that for a new company, but not for not for a company that has a a pretty well established fan base. But I think well, what they're doing is detracting from the fervor for their company. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Robert, you just said though exactly what I said. <clears throat> like hold on to it and put it out yeah. later and put yeah. out something new. Yes, oh. I agree with you. Okay. Oh, okay. So we, we were saying the same thing. Yes. Right, which is why I said if it was a new company, I could see that. But not an established company. Well, you wouldn't be that. I mean, no. I mean, okay. If it's a new company you've never heard of before, you're willing to like you. You would go and sell. Like, if a new company came out next year, but that that's, never dude. Heard. Listen, listen to what you said, and listen to what I said. The new company would choose a different toy, so they would do a sea spray, and okay. they would have and they would have no competition. So then I would buy the new company sea spray. Then they blow me out of the water. Then they release their trail breaker, and I'm like, oh well, fuck. I'll give the trail breaker a shot. Oh, I see. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But like a, a company like Fans Toys, if you don't think 
anytime Mastermind Creations make toys, fans toys, uh, I don't know if I can put anybody else in there off the top of my head. But if you don't think that if they release something <laughs> that there's a competitor out there that, that they aren't affecting the sales, then I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what planet you're on. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing that's funny. It seems to be going on with fan toys right now is, you know, the saying like you can eat sir if you eat sirloin steak every day of the week, it ends up taking just tasting just like Chuck. You know, maybe that's right. part of what's going on. I agree. I, I, I can I can agree with that. All right. then. <laughs> well, moving on to Planet Disney, <clears throat> KFC is releasing Simba. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's actually so. What it is is actually a. I'm assuming masterpiece sized uh, victory saber. No, victory Leo. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, we get an awesome, awesome. <laughs> like so, we've taken the uh, the reveal game to the next level here. That not only are we not going to show the toy, we're not going to do silhouettes, but we're going to take our art and block it out <laughs> actually i think there's more to it than this oh. that i didn't see um because now there's a september uh, estimated release date for it and i what? think there's something else i just didn't see it this is the thing they were talking about before tfcon last year the 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 one that we were speculating or at least i was that maybe it was gonna be a city bot or like it was gonna be something huge because of a particular hint i was given and then I didn't see anything, a big reveal because uh, you guys were all in that the crowd after the third party panel, and then the guy that did the third party panel for TFCon mm-hmm. was like, "Oh no, KFC is going to do this," but they didn't. Uh, they didn't provide us with any information. Like we never got updates. We didn't include it. This is that. This is the. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, you were there because you were you were halfway interested in it as long as the quality was good. I think. Or you might have said if it was anybody but KFC. But anyway, um, I think maybe they held on to it until their quality got better or whatever happened. I don't know. I might be wrong. But, yeah, this is that. It's 14 months in the making. Well, that's but, um, I mean, it, it, the, the biggest the, the biggest thing this has to do for me is it has to go with my uh, victory saber, or my star saber, I should say. Like, he needs to link with that toy. If it doesn't, then, wow. you know. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what it is. It's yeah. That would be so doing. cool. <clears throat> so, I mean, but, you know, the, like I said, I don't understand the, the tactic to just not, like, is there something else out there, you said, Greg, that's, like, showing, like, an actual toy or anything? I don't know. Like, I, 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 I find don't know. It, I, I would assume there is because, like, as soon as this came out, like, all these people were like, oh, yeah, it's a September release date. So I'm thinking there's something else. It might be a solicitation. Uh, to retailers, this picture, and it might be something we'll see. No, not this picture. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I, I there might be a solicitation. I think the blurry something. porn picture was the solicitation that you were talking about. I'm sorry. Well, do you see? Do you, do you put do you put Sumbo with porn instead? No, no. But but the oh. the the uh-huh. way they've blocked uh-huh. out the picture is very indicative of. Japanese porn is all I'm saying, you know. Like I expect when I see that that I'm blocked oh, like a penis or something. So. <laughs> You're so used to seeing porny pictures being porn. Exactly. You're so used to that. Exactly. Did you no guys know that uh, Simba's origins are clouded by the mists of time? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, pixel just makes him look like a kitty cat. Just <laughs> a kitty cat. Some say he's the reincarnation of an ancient hero. Some do say that. Whose cyber intellect dude? has been suppressed by the savage nature of the cyber jungles he now inhabits. Mm. I love well, when that companies could, make their own fish. That actually kind of goes in hand with uh, with, with uh, them using uh, Genrai. It's a, was... a bit of a callback what? joke to, dude, I hope the bio card's sweet. Well, actually, though, this bio card is hinting. In this bio card, they are hinting it's that he combines the victory uh, saber. What'd you say, Greg? Oh, I mean, I think it's a pretty. I think they pr- did a pretty good job of callbacks. I'm joking, uh, man. I'm joking because there was. I know you are. I'm <laughs> not. Fucking, I'm not saying anything other. Shit. <laughs> there, yeah. was that, there was that comment. The guy was like, "I hope it comes with a sweet bio card." 
I'm not looking at. Yeah, I'm not looking at comments. No, so. it was like weeks ago on another show. Oh, they were like, they released something. They're like, if, it, if it's a cool bio card, I'll get behind. Oh, it. I remember that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't remember that. Also, frankly, Robert, like, I can't see yes, how you could out. make a victory Leo that doesn't combined with star saber like it just nobody would want it you know like <laughs> yeah yeah anyway yeah I'm up, just I'm up for this that's robert keeping an open mind yeah I, i'm up for it too and i found you know my limited experience with kfc you know masterpiece size figures have been pretty solid so you know uh, i'm in i'm in because and well, i and, and the thing is i think Takara has said they want to do this, but at this point, like, we haven't seen anything, so, yeah. I'm well, not, not to prolong the topic, but actually what you just said, they did include the ports for it, and they said it was something they were thinking about yes, in the future. Yes. But they were thinking about it hard enough, they put the hardware in, Yeah. and KFC jumped on it, and then they delayed the project for a year. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, um, exactly. And they're... Quality, at least on the Junkions and the Reflector, has gone up. Yeah. I like them trash um, bots. It, yeah, <laughs> I like them too. I even got a third one coming tomorrow. I'm in for all ten or whatever, like the rumored ten. Well, I got a bike. I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not going to waste a new sculpt on a bike. Right, right, right. Like a dupe bike. Right. I'll have 20 of them, motherfuckers. If they do ten, I'll have 20 of them. If I get them all. But anyway. Um... Like, the last couple offerings have been better. Mm -hmm. And Blaster was decent, but, like, Blaster wasn't the Junkions. No, Blaster like, wasn't the Junkions. Yeah, and it's better. Yeah. So maybe you, whatever changes they put into place, like, they knew were going to happen, so they held off because they knew this was going to be such a important release. Or maybe not because it's KFC, so you never know what the fuck they're thinking. But I don't know. This might be good. Yeah, it yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll be interested in it. And like, you know, like clearly Takara hasn't gotten down to actually done anything with this. So, yeah, you know, my my Star Saber needs a Victory Leo to go with it. And if Takara is not going to do it, then I'm in. So, actually, I want this to come out, and then I want a simplified knockoff to go yes. with my simplified knockoff Robot Masters. Star Saber uh, victory uh, set that I have. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> the only one that people could get for a while. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Moving anyway. on. We've got an unknown company who is making, I guess, the fifth rendition of Springer that we're seeing for the third parties here. <laughs> uh. I, I like this. Yeah, I mean, that chest, man, that that three quarters angle, mm, solid D cup. <laughs> I like this. I think this looks good. Looks Wait, are any of the springers named Jerry? No. Is that this is that what he was the... named in the 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 Headmasters cartoon? Should have been. Jerry. No, that was Jerry. before. Uh, that was before Springer. Okay, Jerry Springer. Springer. Well, I got you. I got you. I was I was I was thinking the that. Singapore dub headmasters cartoon where it was like the Omni yeah that was before Jerry Springer unfortunately yeah okay you got Billy Springer and Spaceship Bruce yeah <laughs> I can't wait till Salt. someone releases a Spaceship Bruce <laughs> Are you I hope okay, someone Billy? does that <laughs> not no. really explodes yeah <laughs> eight and uh. a half inches tall what if this is Takara? We don't know. What if this is a leaked Takara design? Yeah, they got they re, they re, they're rebranding. Well, there's no company name on this. Saltus. <laughs> is there? <laughs> no, but they're just they're not going to call him Springer. They're going to call him Saltus. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I forgot about that part. Eight Does it, does it say eight point so, five inch scale? What does that this say? is eight and a half inches tall. Okay. That would be a. Let's see. So Optimus is ten inches, so he's still gonna be pretty tall. I guess that it'll be a half inch taller than, or that, a quarter that from... inch taller than Ironhide. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> I think this looks good though. Like, but but this is this this is that this is almost that scenario that that Robert D was talking about. Like, uh, you know, a new company entering in to a race with 
other competitors. Mm-hmm. Well, look, if this is your first shot and this is all you've been developing and that's basically where all your money is, you have no choice. Right. And yeah. on that note, I'm still going with Ellen. But, I mean, you know, that's the thing. Like, you know, a lot of these new companies, like, it just seems like maybe, you know, when, when they're small, it, like, maybe it's designer-backed rather than the designer selling the design to the, you know, the company who owns a factory. It's like they cut corners and they stay, they, you know, they're, they're looking at just making money right now. So that's why you get, like, that Skyfire that you reviewed recently where the plastic is shit. I'm sure they're given options from the factory, like how, how dense do you want the plastic and how many paint apps do you want on this? And, you know, so you can have a great render, but if it's made out of shit materials because it's just the designer funding it or whatnot or a small company, it's not, you're not going to really have much of a future. Because I, like, I'll say, man, like, I think this looks, I think this looks better than the fans toys, the toy world and, uh, Alan. The things, like personally. I, the things I dig about it, I like the alt modes. I think the alt modes look great. Uh, I think Springer looks good, but I think the chest needs to collapse down better so it doesn't stick out so far. But like from the front angle, I think it looks good too. And I do think, I, I agree with you that I think it looks better than some of the other ones <clears throat> that are out there. I agree. But who knows who Saltus is, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I think, I think Springer's Saltus. Oh, he's Saltus. Okay. Yeah. That that makes a little more sense, I suppose. Yeah. Salty. Mm. Salty warrior. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the EX Factory Gladiator in hand photos. Looks good. It's not for me. I don't need him, but uh, looks good. Yeah, I'm in on this. The price is right. How many? Uh, uh, I'm getting one, and, and then I'm, I'm going to wait until their clearance, and I'll get the other one. <laughs> so, well, don't you need, like, it's like bowling pins, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like six, four. I feel like, I feel like you do need two minimum, uh, but I just can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do two. I'll, I'll do one, and then when they're, when, when somebody's selling them in a group or something, I'll pick up another one. Are these now? Are these the guys that fought Rudicus with Shockwave? No, they. Well, yeah, they did. I think they did. They they were they were in that key to Vector Sigma episode heavy. You know, like they were guarding the key to Vector Sigma right. with the Stunicons. But yeah, they Almost were almost like they were guardians. Oh, but yeah, they were there too, and I think they were there too when Bruticus came back to Cybertron or whatever. They were there, and you were there, and Bruticus was there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in for one, and then fuck it. It's just fucking drought going on these days, anyway. Yeah, they look good. I mean, and the price is certainly very affordable, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. I just don't. I don't particularly remember these, so it's not something I need. Personally. They were in. They were in my favorite in episode. That one episode. Yeah, they were in my favorite episode as a kid, which is why I had to have one. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it's fine. You know. Anyway, let's move on to some official news because Matt's been quiet for a while, and I don't like quiet Matt. Uh, finally, we have some new images of the Takara Tav Fifty Four Scorpionok, which I assume is a Scorpionok from R.I.D. I assume. Yes, Matt. Yes. Yes. Does anyone watch? Do you, Matt? Do you watch the show, Matt? I do not. Okay. Why not? I do. Um, I got stuff recorded, but I just oh, haven't okay. watched it. I got you. I think he looks kind of cool. I mean, for what he is, he looks. Yeah, neat. I think this thing looks awesome. He looks. I mean, good. For the yeah. designs, this looks really the, good. Uh, the Hasbro one is out in uh, stores. I haven't seen them yet, but if I see them, I'll pick them up. It shows I how mean, much I know about the the uh, the RID show and its toy line. Like I had no idea that there was a US release of this toy. To be honest. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't much. Um, he's you know one of the later you know he's in one of the later waves of, of them. Um, hasn't mu- been much. I think he's on the cartoon too. I don't know, mm-hmm. for sure. But um, yeah, there wasn't much uh, 
talk about him, but he looks cool. I mean, he looks like the Beast Wars Scorpion, not kind of. I mean, kind of. A little bit, but not much. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It's interesting. So, it's not bad. I mean, it's yeah. definitely a neat looking design for, you know, compared to a lot of the R.I.D. stuff that I've I've personally seen. So anyway. He's got a lot of color going on. The Takara one. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he definitely does. He does. And Takara definitely, I don't know. I feel like if I was buying a ton of Hasbro, well, you know, mainline toy stuff, I think. I'd be leaning oh, yeah, Takara, towards Takara. Like, to it's just, it's just, hands down, it's no competition. But you do pay premium on the prices. I mean that that the uh, yeah, it'll be about thirty five dollars. Yeah, 30. Power Master Prime is like a hundred. I'm like that's just too much for that toy. Anyway, yeah, let's move on. There's I'm gonna combine the next two. We have Titans Return new product listings as well as uh, prototype pictures of the uh, Titans Return broadside. So, looking at the product listings real quick here, uh, looks like they're talking about Broadside, uh, Octane, a Sea Spray, a new release of Cosmos, a Whamhorn, a Torazer, and a Titan Master version of Optimus Prime. Because oh. Optimus. Oh, okay, so that- they're saying that it's looking like it might be a U.S. release with the alternate tooling of the the Japanese version included, which is nice. Yeah. So maybe you don't have to now, spend a hundred dollars for that one. Was that a fourth party wham horn? <laughs> or a third party wham horn? <laughs> it's the legit one, the first party. First party. No. Oh. I'm I'll bring it on. I I love the Titan returns line so far. It's been great. Uh there's been some, you know, misses. Um some of the cassettes or the zooms. Whatever they're called. The Voyagers and the first one um, deluxes. Yeah. So uh, I think Astro Train and um, Sentinel Prime is making their way out in stores. People are finding them. Um, and they look pretty good. And yeah. Alpha I mean, Trial. Alpha Trial, sorry. Like Not Sentinel Prime. Sorry. The Alpha Trial looks like fucking shit. I've held it in my hand. I'm sorry. That thing looks fucking horrendous. You go, apologize. I still have, I just want to go on record and say that my target still has uh, two AOE figures on the pegs. I believe that. Oh, dude, mine's got Leader Grimlock full price. Yeah, oh, my, that, oh, Leader Grimlock is, is, one of, is one of the two. Okay, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my target, I mean, at least doesn't have AOE, but it pretty much has nothing. Like... I don't know. Most of the places around here, I feel like they forget Transformers exist anymore. So it's been like, it's been more depressing to see that, that the one Walgreens near my house had a bigger Transformers selection than Walmart and Target combined. Like that sucked. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to Legends Cosmos and Sea Spray because Legends usually turn out pretty good. So um, I'm looking forward to those too. Hopefully they'll do them right or something. And wham. Yeah, my uh, my target was like, oh, you want that little uh, that little tiny piece of shit, three step uh, uh, lion or yeah, lion, and then they still got steel jaw. Mm. Never mind. I was trying to I was trying to turn that into uh, uh, a joke about weird wolf, but weird wolf is too good to include in that. I have them on my hand. Oh. I'm so no, that's why I'm just trying to look broad side like, too. I figure. This prototype, I know this isn't the final broadside. I know these aren't final colors. But this looks like a shitty knockoff of that uh, Energon Superion. I can see that. You see that? It's not yeah. just me. Okay. Maybe a wing saber from Energon. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This broadside doesn't do anything for me personally. I, uh... It does for me. Yeah. I win. Yeah. It will when they re- when they when they retool a new Unicron. I'll probably buy it, but uh. I hope so. As of now. Uh, har, har, har. Uh, well, we're going to move on to some unused G1 Scorponok decos. Har, har. Well, uh, just one. But it looks like, uh, really looks like uh, the, the, the European exclusive, uh, like the Turbo Master type colors, right? That's what they were called, I believe. Mm-hmm. Like you had, uh, oh, crud, I can't remember their name. But uh, they were in oh, very they... garish colors. He looks like G2, uh, yeah. Scorpion. 
what was the name of those? The, the, it was the same set that like Pyro came in. Pyro and what was it? Clench. Clench. Clench, yeah. Clench, yeah. Clench. Like that's 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 the vibe I get off this guy. Like he should have been released in with those toys. Oh, kind of like and also um, uh, what was the Optimus Prime uh, re color? Like pink and white. Um, oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, and I can't think of it either. Right you know now. what I'm talking about? Yeah, Thunder the, Clash? Thund- yeah, 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 yeah. Thunder Clash. Thunder Clash, yeah. Yeah. Kind of that, you know, the European, those European ones are kind of. Yeah. yeah, I can see this one going into that. I would definitely buy this. If they would release that, I would definitely get this. It's interesting but looking. It's 30 something years old. Yep. Yeah, it's probably dust right now, like the real one. Like oh, the the, the it's dirt, worth a lot of money too. The dirt that that Scorpionock <laughs> is holding in his hand is actually the funny thing is it's the other <laughs> prototype. It's from eighty four or eighty six. <laughs> yeah. Same dirt. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, the, whoever has this is that's a gold mine right there, probably. Looks cool. Anyways, all right. Well, let's move on to our last Hasbro talk it topic, and uh, is there anything Hasbro can't fuck up? And apparently. Uh, the Walgreens exclusive brainstorm. I'm still looking for one. If anyone out there can, you know, find me one. <clears throat> Just thanks. Me too. But uh, me too. anyway, now apparently you can check your Walmart Before. for them too because you know they might have them there. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a mistake, I guess. That's do, weird. You, do we think that? So did, does anybody think that maybe somehow someone bought one from Walgreens and decided that they really don't like? Six dollars and decided to return it to Walmart at a loss. That would be well. It says it was a whole case of them though. Well, they got a receipt uh, though. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. They did have a receipt under there, so. Well, the it's receipt weird. would still be if they returned it and someone bought it, but it says it was a, there was a case worth there, so hmm. they said. Yeah. So. But then again, should... actually, Matt's kind of got a point. They could have just returned it and then rebought it. And oh, said, hey, look at this. Oh yeah, they could have. Yeah, they could have. Well, Matt, so you said the receipt, so that's why I gave yeah, the credit. Um, There's a guy who's been in the yeah. forums claiming that Target has has them as well, but that's the only thing I've heard, so I don't know. I guess uh, it would to further, I mean, I meant to, you know, to claim your, you know, fame, whatever, for your 10 minutes, whatever, 15 minutes, I maybe took a picture of all of them, maybe, instead of just one, uh, you know, so people could believe it. Um, but I don't know. You know, that's cool if, if it happens. I'm not counting on it. But, I don't. You know. I don't. I don't really care either way personally because I hate the fact that oh, Walgreens yeah. gets like an exclusive like this. Like yeah, the the Marvel Legends people. I know you've been dealing with it for a while, but like that's I don't weird. Know, it's that just, they get it's a transform. A, it's annoying. You know, like I don't. It's know. very strange. It's very well, strange. Well, yeah, but it's no more annoying than Target or Walmart or Toys R Us. Um, Toys R Us, or you know, yeah, even some of the more but, obscure. But on the other hand, a lot of times, Costco. What we've seen with these types of exclusives, they're like a weird deco or something like that. It's never like you know, flat out been a character, you know. Well, I think it's you could have got that character if you bought the SEC set, Justin. I yeah, think it's more. Like I think it's more of a pain in the dick than than the, the TRU or the Target ones because like. Uh, there's not Walgreens everywhere. There's yeah, there's not as the Walgreens aren't as plentiful as those, but also like Walgreens stock is like demographic dependent. So like the the Walgreens, the only Walgreens within like a 30-mile radius of me doesn't carry action figures at all. Period. Oh really? Yeah, because yeah. they don't sell them, so they don't carry them. Hmm. Where yeah, that, is, that is fucked up. Whereas other Walgreens have like, you know, like you see like these people starving you know, in these groups that are like, you know, like, I will give you my left arm for a Punisher. And then another guy will post a picture of, like, pegs and pegs and pegs of Punishers, <laughs> you know, the next town over. Well, like, where's that arm at? Yeah. But in in my hometown, like, I, I was back there and I saw this, too. There's not a Toys R Us. You have to drive 40 minutes to Toys R Us. And you have to drive 35 minutes to Target in the other direction. There's not even a Toys R Us. There's not even a Toys R Us and a Target in the same town. Can you buy? So, um, can you buy Walgreens exclusives from their internet page? Some you can. Some you can. Okay. I think I think it depends on uh, how uh, 
how over the cup runneth. I think if I uh, like those uh, green goblins, like you can get Namor on there, I think. But like the green goblin pop, the SCCC, you can't. Gotcha. I saw there, that. The, there is no the... brainstorm on walgreens.com. So I am still in need of one. Is there a Punisher okay. or a Namor? Check Namor because he's been out longer. Let's see. I'll get all, I'll get all of you motherfuckers, any of them, because they always show up at my yes. head set. You can find Namor on there. Okay. All right. So that, yes. that gives us hope. And let's see. Hey, yeah. Craig. Oh. Yes, sir. Do you have the, the pops from Walgreens, the spider, the Iron Man spider, and the... Um, no, black, but someone said suit? they... Re- Someone said they just issued those again in Myrtle oh, Beach. In the old Redneck Riviera, they found the uh, Iron Spider and the 2099, which are ones I need. Mm. But uh, I saw them. I almost picked them up. They look pretty cool. Punisher. Glow oh, did you saw them recently? Yeah, they glow in the dark. Punisher's not on there. Do I need to go back and get them? For me? Yes. Okay. Not for me. Oh, for I you? I don't care about pops. Yeah, I do. Justin, are you on? I'll, get I'll go look at him. I'll talk to you. I'll, no, that's I'll fine. No, that's fine. No, no, oh, it's... Jesus Christ. Shut for, the fuck forget up, what Forget what I forget what a set of the Spider-Man figures. Forget Good. what a set of the okay. Spider-Man figures. Shine those the fuckers up and turn them sideways Good. and stick them up your ass. Good. What Good. was, what was the Good. question, Robert? <laughs> I was just wondering if, 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 if Justin's on Walmart's website. Walgreens. I see. Just, well, well oh, yeah, whatever. I, I was actually talking about oh. Walmart because... They they have the Titans Return brainstorm here and a fucking Walmart receipt. It just says Transformer. I know. That's why I was wondering so, if it possibly was returned or. It, I mean, it it even it. It's not like they could have any shit. They could have any receipt for a Transformer yes. and put it under the box and say, "Hey, I bought this at Walmart." Yes, true. That's yeah, why I said they should have took a picture of all of them that were there in the store, and then maybe we could have said, "Okay, that's that's cool." But yeah, you know, you could fake. You know, they could fucking Photoshop that fucking thing too. Yeah, they should have taken a picture of all of them that were in the store and then put them up on the internet and said $35 a piece. <laughs> That's true. And you can't complain about it or I will rat you out to the admin. Ban hammer. I saw that, Greg. Someone you saw that? Did you see that? Though? Wasn't that kind of fucked up? Wasn't that kind of fucked up, though? Yeah. I, like I said, I, told hey. Bob, or I, told, I said in the, in the chat, I was like, man, the, the groups are mounting up today, buddy. Well, dude was like, oh, they jumped on me when I did it. This guy's selling a signed one. I'm like, well, maybe he thinks the autograph's worth that much. It's not the same as driving around to every single Toys R Us in your town and buying them all up first day. And then selling them for almost triple. And then telling people if they complained, you tell the admin of the, of the TFW. But anyway, none of my business. Sip that coffee. Sipping that tea. Yep. Oh. Hey, Bobby, are you going to get a brainstorm? Fuck, oh, dude. Right. Let's move on. Let's really? move on. Because I am, because I got the other ones. I might as well get the fucking brainstorm. I am, too. If I find them, I can get them. Greg, if you find one, well, like, me one, please. please. I will. I, I like too, more Justin. of those. If I find a Justin, I'll get you one, too. I appreciate man. it. Sad thing is, I like more of those fucking deluxes than I don't like them. Like, I like Weird Wolf. I like the Bat. I like uh, Highbrow. I even like fucking Chrome Dome. So... <laughs> You're I'd be s- a fool not. I'd be a fool not to finish, Bobby. You're gonna sell them. You're gonna. I sell might eventually. <laughs> well, I have. Okay, here's the thing. I have this one shelf that, due to the the sheer size of Toy World Devastator, I have a mini shelf, and it's perfect size to put the seven vehicles and the seven headmasters beside them. All right. All right. Mm, that's all, right all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're done with Hasbro. All right, all right. Well, well, well done here. You can find us on uh, MySpace and uh, <laughs> this is Tumblr good. and AOL Messenger. Oh, We've been speaking going. Speaking of MySpace, I have a shirt that my discussion. mom got me. It said my um, she got it a long time ago, and my mom got this for me. It says, "Your mom is on my, on my top eight on MySpace." I just found it last <laughs> night, and I showed it to Lisa, and she just like she started cracking up because I'm tr- I'm actually fitting into shirts that I you know I, I used to not could. Uh, could. So I, I looked at that, and I found that shirt, and I forgot. And my mom got that for me. And it says, yeah, on the back it says, your mom's on my top eight in my space. I'm like, damn. You should wear it. You should wear it. Oh, I am. Oh, I told her I was going to wear it. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to wear it awesome. to work. Do we want to uh, do this discussion or any questions before we get out of here? Yeah, which one do we want to do? Do we want to do 
Your, your, your call. Bobby. Your call hosts with the most. Uh, you know what? I feel like we could do this discussion and possibly a question because I I just can't see how this discussion is going to carry on very long. Personally, this is MP. Question. This is the Adam Tucker discussion. Yes. Okay. So the the discussion, the question, it's kind of a question, but the, the the discussion is what is the difference between Star Wars going bonsai and Transformers going beast mode? Okay, all right. So this was about the samurai figures. Basically, it's it, to to kind of summarize what it's really about is it's about the fact that we say like you know we've we, well not all of us say it, but you've come out on this dance that says like you know uh, Beast Wars has fundamentally changed at the core what the Transformer was, making it completely different. And you know, so why is it? okay for for star wars to do the same type of thing right but not for for uh transformers and for this like for for me to throw in my two cents there like i don't think it's the same thing at all like because no, i feel like at its core star wars is still star wars like it's not like there hasn't been star wars samurai movies that have come out and stuff exactly. like that you know as a result and that's the core difference exactly and if they do so i'm uh, tapping out yeah Jesus. It, like like the the samurai look is a niche. It's a niche thing. Like and if they took all the G one characters and made them samurais, like that would be a niche thing too. And I would be interested Wasn't to Beast look Wars at. Beast Wars a niche? No, it, because be, they went no, back because, to cars. I mean, they just tried a different thing and then they went to another. And they went back to cars. Do, do they you, transform. It didn't change anything about Transformers. They still transform. Didn't change anything about Transformers. Hey, do so they, do they not transform? It's still, yeah, uh, good versus evil. That's all Transformers is. Good versus evil. Autobots waged a battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. I mean, that's the bare bones of the fucking. That's the theme song. Not that's the what Predacons. Beast Wars did. Well, it's the same Beast thing. They it's they not the same thing. The very it's clearly first spelled, ten minutes spelled that the Maximals differently. Clearly. The Maximals and the Predacons are an extension. I'm not even listening to that. <laughs> the, the Maximals and the Predacons are an extension of the Autobots and Decepticons. But the, ten, the the main focus is the same. It's good versus evil, and it's still robots in disguise. It, it's not it, it, okay. <laughs> it's not it, it, like, as I said before. It's not Beast Wars in and of itself. It's that Beast Wars made it okay to go way off the reservation. So then, anything that came after Beast Wars didn't need to hold on to anything character wise or even story wise to the origination of the series. How the stories change? The stories didn't change. It's the same thing. Like what did you say, Greg? It sounds like any healthy franchise. Uh, it sounds like any unhealthy franchise. Like How is the Transformer unhealthy? Star Wars has Star Wars has not done that, Greg. Well, they have the. They, 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 they have. The, okay, so they did the original three. Correct. They they did the the Holy Trinity. Correct. And then they went back and explained uh, a different facet of it. Right. Which is kind of what Beast Wars did. Correct. And where does Armada? It's on the same continuity. Where's Armada? Oh, that fuck that bullshit. See, that's what I'm care. saying. I, I feel like I'm talking and you know, I'm listening. It's it's that Beast Wars. It's, it's, it's that Beast Wars continuity. made it okay to go off continuity. to go off the reservation. And once that step was made, it was a fucking free. Like a shattered cast free for all. Like a shattered cast free for all. Maybe you could argue that. So you wanted G one just keep going could, on and on? No, no, no I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm even okay. Like I would be okay with G one going on and on, but I'd also be okay with rebooting. Wouldn't G1. that get stale? I'm also well. That's that's the conversation. So let me let me read this because this this puts it in perspective without it getting derailed too much. But he said um, this is a harder question and not well formed regarding this week's conversation and talking point. So in some ways things would continue to exist without corporate ownership. The shared ownership is what is this? This is about eBay. Oh yeah, how do you? All right, so. Oh yeah, it's another question. I'm taking shots about it. Without reimagining like Beast Wars, how do you how do you think the series could continue? How do you reconcile your feelings about Beast Wars and the standard yearly relaunch in the comics realms? And I said, Batman only really works when an orphan Bruce Wayne does the cape, dons the cape and cow to fight criminals and madmen that made him who he is. If he puts on a gorilla suit, it wouldn't work. And then he said. This is this is this is like he said. He said, "What about Gordon in the in the bad suit or Azrael 
Bat, for those when when Batman's bat, back was broken, this guy Azrael became Batman for a while. And I said exactly, it didn't work. And like that's the thing is that like if you look at the most healthy franchises that have gone on and on, they are the ones that don't fuck with the formula too much. And when they do fuck with the formula, they fuck themselves. Superman fucked itself in New Fifty Two. Guess what they did? Went back to the goddamn formula. Yeah, but that's Superman. That's been around since the fucking 30s, 40s. Transformers has been around for 30 years. It's exactly. not unhealthy. Exactly. Exactly. But how is it unhealthy? If it is unhealthy and after Beast Wars, then they would have shut down. Transformers would have been gone. There's I, Evidently, it must have been a little healthy to anywhere, fucking still be around. Are you saying that Transformers is as successful as Superman? No, I'm not saying it, but it is successful in its own right. I, but you're saying it's unhealthy because they went Beast Wars, but no, that's bullshit. I'm not saying it's unhealthy. I'm saying that I don't like it. That's fine, but I'm just saying you're saying that it was unhealthy. Any unhealthy okay. franchise would, you know, wouldn't have done that. But uh, evidently, it must have worked because there's a lot of Beast Wars fans and Transformers still around. It's not <laughs> as popular as Superman. No, I'm not saying that. No, it's not, and it, it's it doesn't have the same core. F- it doesn't. But I guarantee same- it'll be around just as long as Superman. It doesn't have the same. F- we don't know that. Maybe, uh-huh. but but the problem is is that it's not the fucking. It's not the same. Like if you look at even Turtles. Turtles reboots all the time, but it's always the same. It's so the, by doing that when they're always the same, like you always harken back to the same collectors. And what's gone on with Transformers is there's like generations. There are, so but like, there's generations yeah. of Turtles collectors too. There's generations. No, but they all like Turtles though. They'll buy whatever Turtles shit you throw at them. That's, I mean, but, wait, 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 what I'm trying to say is, like, because you're saying there's, like, a unifying theme with Turtles, no matter the generation, right? And I think because you've had, like, these reboots or redesigns, uh, reinventions of Transformers um, every few years, you have collectors growing up um, seeing, like, their concept of Transformers is different. So as consumers... Um, you know, it's it's like when when Hasbro or Takaro uh, is is releasing a line, they don't get all of the collectors with one line. I I, well, I agree with you, but that that yeah. is my that that's that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Is that like that you don't see so much Beast Wars people, and especially after Beast Wars, what was right after Beast Wars? Beast Machines. Uh, uh, what was after the Beast shit? Armada. 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 So no, you don't R-I-D, see R.I.D. I'm sorry. Okay. R.I.D. Yeah. So so you don't see. The, the, the R.I.D. people as much saying, look, it's R.I.D. or nothing, right? Because they've grown up in that generational process where it's just this changing thing. And Well, R.I.D. was also a jump back to vehicles, so they probably weren't that excited about it, but that's just me. What, what do you mean they weren't excited about it? Well, I mean, they just got that awesome Beast Wars franchise. No, 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 I'm talking about the kids. I'm, no, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the kids who grew up with R.I.D., who that was their first Transformers. Oh, they're smoking crack right now. But, like, that's what I'm saying, is that, like, the kids that grew up with R.I.D. are used to Transformers being this evolving franchise where you can't get attached. There's, they are the most fluid, and then everyone after them. Beast Wars people are slightly less fluid, and G1 people are the least. I, I think that if you went, like you said, if you would have went G1 all the way through, it would have got stale and boring. Now, they do go back, just like Star Wars goes back to the original. I think they do go back when they put out classics, when they put out Prime, animated. I think they do go back to their roots. So why yeah, Beast it- Wars was a little stray. It was a stray off, but it, they're still the same concept. Good versus evil, and they transform, and they're robots in disguise. That's what a transformer is, and that's uh, that's how that's how it is. And I think they'll be a successful franchise for every, a long time. Every boy's franchise is good versus evil. Why why is Batman not stale? Batman hadn't changed up in anything at all. I mean, it's going through changes, but it's still the same. It formula. has to. It's still the same formula. It's still. I think Bruce, it's still the same formula for Transformers. No, it's From not. G1 Optimus to- Primal is not Optimus Prime. Bruce Wayne is Batman. Yes, he is. Optimus Prime wins Optimus Batman Prime. Beyond. <laughs> and where is and where is that? I'm just saying. I'm that just was saying. Where's Beast Wars? Where's Beast Wars? Optimus exactly. Primal had the same. Optimus Primal had the same 
makeup of what Optimus Prime was, and he had the same what he wanted to uh, do is protect the good. He the that's same, what the Optimus same way Prime that Terry did. Terry McGinnis has a lot of the same attributes as Bruce Wayne, but it's not Bruce Wayne, so it's no longer really here. Well, yeah, I mean, Optimus Prime was never going to take the place of Optimus Prime, but he had the same makeup as him. I, I, had, I, I, I'm not arguing that. You could argue the headmasters paved the way, you know, because, you know, at least the Americans, it's the American story, just having the aliens, the humanoids, now they become the heads. Uh, that really not, changed not, it not, up. Not, not, I mean, yeah, that changed, but that's building, that's like, that's building on the, on, on the mythology. That's not okay. starting as. See, that's the thing, but, you know, the, the thing is, Beast Wars did tie into the mythology. I, I understand that. But, but, but it's not the same as, like, Armada. But what I'm anything. saying is that it made, it's, it's what started it. It's what started changing it. And then once they got away with Beast Wars, they could get away with more. But they had to change their Transformers, the robots in disguise. That's getting away. But well, couldn't you argue that because they were, they were What'd different? What'd you say, Greg? I couldn't hear you. No, oh, I said so. It, well, I was kind of mumbling on purpose. So it's like, so it's getting away. Like I, I don't understand that. Like once they got away with this, it was like they had some master scheme. Like Doctor Octopus and Mysterio were sitting around. They're like, we'll change him into animals, and they'll never know. And then uh, Doc Ock was like, I know. We'll get a different voice actor and we'll add Tidal Wave. And it's our master plan. Well, like, well, no, that, but that, was the, that was the image I had in my head. Well, yeah, but to, an, to an extent, that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Because a three-year storyline is lazier than a 30-year storyline. So, yes, that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. Okay, but, well, I, okay, think, but I think back then they were kind of looking – they weren't looking at 30 years. They were looking at, they were looking at the future. They were, they were on borrowed time as it was. So they were trying to do what they could. I think so. they just did it because hey, kids I, I, like, I'm, I'm like animals. It made it okay for a gradual change. Yeah, but so, the so they they is... got they got this far, and they're like, oh, okay. Well, you know what? We could probably just say fuck all that continuity shit and just do something different. Do it for three well, years was, and call it a wrap. It was actually the well, it was Japan that did the other that kept doing the robot thing because they didn't actually have these sports. They actually imported. Uh, Beast Wars toys, and then actually went retroactively and made their own fiction to fill in Beast Wars because they didn't have that. While simultaneously, America didn't have Beast War or didn't have Transformers fiction because Beast Machines had ended. So they imported the Japanese, which was Car Robots, which turns into R.I.D., as well as the trilogy, which was Armada, whatever. But it was something different in Japan. So then you had that whole crossover of of America importing. Japanese fiction because they needed something to get out to sell toys and at the same time Japan had these toys they got from America and they had to scramble and make their own fiction to sell those toys so, is so it that was kind of a weird that was like a weird period that's not really that's not really the same I mean I guess it kind of is as G1 but like it, it and that that was a weird scramble to like Maybe, like they were swapping, they were swapping. Like they, like it was weird because like J Japan had American toy for the first time ever. Japan was trying to sell the American toys, and America was trying to sell the Japanese toys, and they had to like scramble and swap fiction to like keep up with their uh, with their release dates and stuff. So that is a weird period with the with the end of Beast Machines and with RID. So I can see the confusion, but. I don't well, know. Maybe they just made no, just a weird Beast weird. Wars because people, you know, kids like animals. Maybe they just made it like that. But Matt, that's 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 probably true. But that doesn't. Well, I think they were just it, trying to reinvent the franchise because G two didn't really do a really great job of slapping slapping pastels on it and putting the put, putting the name of the robot on the side of the robot in disguise. Wasn't it doesn't. Really, uh, it doesn't remarkable. negate what I'm saying though, Matt. It, like, uh, yeah, yeah, but I think. Okay, going away from the whole Cybertronian style, that's something they did drastically. But but fiction-wise, they tried to keep continuity. And that is different than, after the fact, just rebooting a reboot where there's a new Optimus. With, you know, and they just changed everything, started right. over. That is different. I agree. Like, so, but but is, is it Beast Wars that did that? Yes. Why is it Beast Wars that did that? Because they started that change 
But optimal, op, okay, optimal, whatever gorilla. He's not Optimus. Correct. So it's it's not. But but the next stories started yes, over with correct. a new correct. Optimus. Correct. Correct. Like so, like 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 natural selection, like evolution. It's, it's like, gradual. It's, it's like, like gradual Mega Man change. X. It's like Mega Man X. You know, you only went as far as you could with Mega Man, and you made Mega Man X. It's a it's a gradual change. Mega Man X. I just want to say that like as many times as possible. That'd be Mega Man X. Change. But that, that that's that, that's what I'm saying. Like the if if they if they were like, look, epi- here comes episode eight, and it had nothing to do with episodes one through seven, and they were all wearing samurai armor. I'm out. Well, then what about Rogue One? What about it? The dude with the the blind isn't that the blind guy from Marco Polo, and now he's like uh, an ex. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, you remember the show Marco Polo on Netflix? Forrest Whitaker? No, I never saw it. Oh, uh, you have to watch <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> oh, my God. It has Genghis Khan. Oh. But anyway, there's, there's this blind dude, and he's like a bodyguard, and he's like an amazing kung fu master. And, and I think that's the same actor. Yeah, no, it probably and, is, because this guy is a famous kung fu actor. So how come yeah. it's okay for... Or say, here's a movie without the Force, without Jedi, and it's just fighting, and there's a dude that can really, they, they, you know, a guy, he's a fucking amazing hand-to-hand fighter, and let's just have a but battle. It's got Darth Vader in it. I'm even, I'm even okay if they were to say, like, look, this is a Star Wars comedy film about a fucking stormtrooper that got left behind on some fucking world somewhere. I'm okay with that, too, because it doesn't fuck with the mythology. Well... Well, I mean, it, it does involve it, though. I mean, you've got, like, it's the pre, it's the precursor to, uh, it's the whole story behind how the Rebels got the, the plans to the, the Death Star. Right, but it doesn't change it. It doesn't change it into something else. Right, it's, now you've got a movie coming out where it's say, it's okay not to have the Force. Dude, that's not what the movie's saying, but let's say, like, what the fuck does Transformers R.I.D.? have to do with Beast Wars or G1 or Armada. Good versus evil. <laughs> well, no, I mean, why does it have to be this? Why does it have to be a continuing unity? I mean, why does it have to, can, why can Apparently it be different? It I'm, it saying that, I, I'm, saying that, I'm saying that that's what I don't like about it. Okay. I'm telling you, you're, you're in denial about this uh, Rogue One. This is going to lead to somewhere you're not going to like. It, that, no, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm very well aware that it could lead to somewhere I don't like. I think that rebooting the EU is going to lead to somewhere I don't like ultimately. I think having in the prequels, having the Jedi... I mean, like, su- I said prequels. Su- prequels. <laughs> um, it's what a porcupine gets before they grow the real spine. <laughs> let's, not forget, uh, let's not forget our other boys had the continuity. <laughs> <laughs> no, no but, 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 you know, I think the prequels... When you had the Jedi now, the, the way that they fight with the lightsabers is very kung fu movie. That is making it okay now to have, like, the ace fighter in Rogue One is like a kung fu master. Yes. You're going to have fucking you're, kung you're, fu films. You're confusing genre with mythology. And that's not what I'm talking about. It's going to turn, it's going to take the story somewhere else where the, now it's going to, I mean, the genre let me, mythology. Let me, let, me put in a different, let me put in a different ballpark. Captain America Winter Soldier is kind of like a spy movie. Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of like a sci-fi movie. Avengers, straight up action movie. Different genres, same mythology. No, but if but but my point is genre can dictate the mythology because if they're gonna if 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 a, if a Star Wars movie that is pure hand to hand fighting and battling does wonderfully, which I'm sure it will, then they they're gonna start writing around that. And that can change the mythology. <laughs> How can it change the mythology? I don't know yet. It hasn't happened. It can't. Unless, in, unless it goes... Jackie to- Chan is Snoke. <laughs> that would change the mythology, maybe. If it was really Jackie Chan from Earth, that would change the mythology. <laughs> I'm just saying that the genre can affect mythology, obviously, because they're writing towards the genre. It, it can, but it doesn't necessarily have to. It's not. It, they they're, they're, they can be mutually exclusive. Ah, just, that just, was muted. Fuck. Just Sorry. like just like a sci-fi Guardians of the Galaxy, 
doesn't fuck with the mythology of an action film. So, like, so if they do like a little side gig, let's say they did a comedy. Let's say they did a comedy trilogy that <laughs> existed in the same universe. No, no, he, 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 like, let's say they follow the Stormtrooper for three movies, right? Mm-hmm. And it exists in the same universe, mm-hmm. and it touches on like, let's just say this. Oh, let's say in the second and third movie, the Stormtrooper happened to get stationed on, say, uh, he was part of the Bespin occupation, and then he was on the third Death Star. Mm. Um, but it was his own separate kind of thing. And then they're done with those, and they go back into a more uh, linear Star Wars format, where it was the Empire... And it was the Jedi, and you know, went on there. Like, would you think that would detract from Star Wars as a whole, or think, that would be that out of place? I think, I think, I think all of these saga films, like, I mean, all of these uh, anthology movies, whatever you want to call them, these story quote unquote movies, can definitely detract from the saga films. I think that's definitely a possibility. But you know, okay, no- well then you're, well I mean that's what Beast Wars kind of did though. I mean you're well that val- I mean that validates what you're saying, because the second season of Beast Wars kind of touched with uh, G1, and then the third one kind of touched finally with G1. So then you're across the board. You passed the test. <laughs> Good. Your your opinion your opinion your particular opinion is valid for you. And our particular opinions are valid for us. Yeah. And but I, I still I still think that everybody cool. thinks that I'm under the impression that G1 and Beast Wars are not connected. Let me make it crystal clear for everyone. And only only language I know how to speak, I understand that they are connected. You know that's not even good enough, though. I mean, <laughs> didn't you it's, know that Bike Robo was from Machine <laughs> Robo? It's, it doesn't it's matter just, how many times you say it, nobody cares. It's just that Transformers, as we knew the franchise... And its uh, introduction oh, uh, and its introduction to the American market in a television format was changed with Beast Wars, and that change has only gotten more and more liberal. So you're saying that Beast Wars is Obama? <laughs> I've got a I've got a related but slightly tangential question. Do you think we love those? <laughs> yeah, do, do you think that that uh, G one or I'm sorry, Beast Wars from the start really was intended to be related to G one though? Uh, not necessarily. Because I don't like think the, so at the all. whole the whole Megatron Optimus thing only came in towards the very end, right? Right. Like last season. Second season. Yeah. Well, I think they did it just like He-Man when they I, I think I made this comparison on the show before. Um when they first introduced the He-Man toys, they were they were trying to revitalize the brand. Mm-hmm. Well, with He-Man they're trying to establish the brand. Well, actually they did kind of the same thing with Transformers too. Except they had the they it was reversed. Like with Transformers they had the toys, but they needed the fiction. Um, and then I think, like, they already had something ready to go. The fiction caught up with the toys, whereas I think um, the toys caught up with the fiction. So, so anyway, anyway, with Beast Wars, they put out that um, Alligator Megatron and Bat Optimus Primal. And then as soon as they had fiction set up, it completely swapped it around. And then the same thing with He-Man. They put out He-Man and Skeletor, and then what was it? What were the other two? Bobby, do you remember? They put out, like, four. No, uh, no I don't. Beastman, Skeletor, or it was Skeletor, He-Man, Beastman, and Tia? I'll go with I it. think. I'm on board. And then they had the mini-comics, and it was, like, uh, Skeletor from Despot... Whoa. No, oh, it was Spartos, not Despotron. I was like, oh, <laughs> taking it back to... <laughs> winding it back to Despotron. It was Spartos, and, like, whatever. They had the whole thing, and it was, like, the Barbarian Warrior, and... The, once they had the fiction in the cartoon, they had the established canon like of, of the fiction set up. Then they went back and they changed it around, and you know, He-Man was Prince Adam, and blah 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 blah. And they did the same thing with uh, with Beast Wars, whereas um, 
instead of alligator Megatron. They just kind of wrote that out. It was it was uh, dinosaur Megatron. And what's what season was Silverbolt in? Three, two, two. three, two, three, Whoa. two. And see, see, because there's there's another thing. Like, so, I mean, obviously, it's not the Aerobot, right? So, no. is, so is Silverbolt like Joe on Cybertron? Where there's just well, that. That's kind of what I was getting to. I was taking a minute because I was trying to make sure that like I I was in the right place. Like, I think they had their ideas for it beforehand, and then I think they kind of took those like standing like they had it all on a board and they're like we're gonna do this this we're gonna have an optimus we're gonna have megatron we're gonna have this this and i think as the story progressed and as like as like it gained momentum i think they moved stuff around that's why you had your silver bolt and then the toy line you had ironhide and you had prowl and you had uh, inferno in the cartoon and like i think they intended for these to be like the same characters initially, and I think it all, the whole thing just kind of mutated into its own right. story as it went along. So, right. Silverbolt might have intended they they might have intended for Silverbolt to be the captain of the the Falcon bots, right. but he ended up being a fuse or war. Inferno or whatever was awesome. Was. Always calling uh, Megatron my queen. Anyway. But see, but but that's what I'm saying though is that like, I don't know, man. Like that's the thing. Like if 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 we watch the next Star Wars movie, and there's a fucking guy named Han Solo, and he's a goddamn, uh, I don't know, ninja, n- ninja. He's a he's a ninja dog man. I'm gonna be like, dude, not okay. You know, but like that's that those those sorts of changes aren't happening in these. Other- I think. Beloved franchise. Well, I, I, I would argue. I would just throw this out there. Please do. Just because the argument exists. Sure. I'm not sure where it would be. I would say that this slippery slope could have started as early as Transformers the movie when they killed Prime and killed off a lot of the bots. Or the Autobots. I disagree. Movie. You know, you could say, well, that goes towards the mythology and the story. Exactly. But also it shows they just want to sell toys and they're of offering course. the old line. Of course. That I mean, why but- they did it. Business has got to has got to be of the backbone of this shit. It's, it's the but backbone it's, of all this shit. Well, I mean, yeah, but the spirit wasn't as much tell a story and sell toys around it. It was sell toys and make the story work. And we don't uh, get that's, a see, shit. That's, that's not entirely true, man. But it is because look what they but did. It's they not. came like, up with it, awesome. no. they came out with Energon because they don't give a fuck. No, because because if you listen to those like I, like if if you ever listen to the commentaries on those movies, the 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 eighty six movie. No. Like those guys are like, look, like they they told us, like, look, you got to get rid of the, the these toy lines. We got to get new toy lines. But then they okay. actually did give a fuck. They tried to make it something good. Like their heart and soul was in it. No, it's, but those are those are the guys just writing it. But that's the powers that be behind it. All. Right, but don't say just writing it. Like that ain't shit. No, I didn't say it's not ain't shit. But they're not the decision makers. No, the of ultimate- course, of course not. But what I'm saying is that they were given the they were given the quote unquote script right. To just the, the the notes, and then they made a script that built the mythology. Like that's the right. that's the smart way to do it. That like Barbara Gordon gets shot and paralyzed. You know what I mean? And, and then she's in a wheelchair and like living with those consequences or whatever. That's Jason Todd is killed. I mean, I'm, I'm using all shit that gets undone in New Fifty Two, but then probably would get redone and rebirth because it worked. But my, my point though is, it's the the driving spirit behind the entire franchise is very short sighted. As opposed to the other franchises, where perhaps the driving spirit isn't a short spot, short sighted, because it's not oh. the writers who have the ultimate control; it's the powers to be behind them saying, like you said, we need to sell different toys off these characters, and then the writers are doing their best best to make great fiction around that. Yeah, but that's, I'm on, I'm on board with that. Well, that leads I to Armada and Energon. Not necessarily. It, it only leads to it with Transformers. That's my point. And, well, and, 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 and GI Joe. I think all of the plan, the plan though, with Beast Wars was to try to connect the the Beast Wars characters to G One, to yeah. not just have them be like. Well, I mean, they did that with Optimus Megatron. Like they they established that Optimus Primal was inspired by Optimus. And blah 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 blah. And I think there was. I, I think the plans were there to 
to extend that. Well, because I, I, initially there's two toys, but they're bio. The alligator Megatron was Megatron and vice versa, and they adapted. But I think like they tried to tie it as closely as they could. And I think it just took off too fast, and like they got to the point where they had to like shed it off the pot, as they say, and then they kind of did what they did. But I think they were trying to tie that into a more direct continuity with G one. I just think that like they ran out of time. Maybe I, you know what I mean? Like I, I think because there is a finite this. time of, of brainstorming versus production and like getting things out. What? What? So uh, how many years? Give me a ballpark. I, I'm not. That's not a test. How, how many years before the the events of season one, episode one, does Beast Wars take place? Well, depending on who you ask, right? Well, let's just for the for the just, 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 just for the sake of conversation, there's some conspiracy. Couple hundred thousand. Conspiracy. Okay, let's say let's say let's just say that let's just say that a hundred thousand years. Let's just say that. Let's actually, you know what? Fuck that. Let's say twenty. Well, that's 000, actually a thing. Twenty thousand years. There, but no, just people just, that no, say, but it's not. It's, it's not for my point. Twenty thousand okay. years. If if Wait. episode one of Beast Wars opened with them getting on the Ark, the Ark bots getting on the Ark, and then said something along the lines of, "But let's start our let's let let me tell you the story that happened before this." It it would not have been what happened to Transformers. Ultimately, I don't think would have happened. I think well, we no. would have seen more stories told within the same continuity within the same universe. No, but it didn't. It didn't happen. Beast Wars didn't happen before they got on the Ark, or whatever. Beast- whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if they tied at the very, you missed the fucking point. If the very first episode, <laughs> the very first minute, tied continuity of the previous show to that show, it would have set Transformers on a very different path. Is my point? I don't think that was their plan, though. I I don't either. It, you're not a Marvel fan, so you don't understand how 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 time travel effects I'm a because of dc like you know that's a that's a thing <coughs> they were just like oh time travel and then they're like oh well fuck we gotta we wrote time travel into it so now we get to go back and fucking retcon shit fuck we gotta we gotta tie it all together which is a thing i think marvel struggles with a little bit but, but I'm, um, I'm saying that if I, I agree with you that i don't think i don't think oh my god it's like the voice what? of God just came down. It was like a <laughs> huge thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. I thought you just had an epiphany. That no, 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 no. Oh, no, my no. God. You're right. Oh, my God. But I like, agree with you. But look, it was like – what I'm, I agree with you that it wasn't the intention to tie them all together initially. My, my point is that if it was, it would have put Transformers on a very different path. Oh, no. I, I, I don't think they were trying to tie it together the way they did. I think they were trying to make – these characters extensions and i think it just like they they did what they could like they had their jumbled ideas and i think they they did what they could to try to like get them all together and still stay on the timeline i'm not saying it's perfect at all no i'm i'm, I'm I, saying like i agree i'm a guy that. sitting in a room in an office and i'm like all right well we couldn't okay we couldn't find a way to make optimus optimus so let's have optimus find optimus in season two I, I agree with you. I'm just saying that if it was initially tied together, if they if they established it straight away, that this is all part of the same universe. Yeah, but you're talking about the company that can't even fucking keep Walgreens and Walmart separate. So, <laughs> I mean, see, fair enough. Can... My point is that this company specifically just, you know, they don't care. Like, you know, that long term. I know, agree. They wanna... they, the whole nature of this franchise was. Bought a bunch of robots. Okay, well, we need to sell them. Let's tell a story as opposed to let's create a fiction and sell the toys with the fiction. I agree. That was a, that was a scary time for Transformers. <laughs> Seriously, that, that was a scary time because G2 was a flop. And then, um, yeah, Kenner. Kenner was involved. Like, that, that, that whole thing was a clusterfuck. Like, they were just trying to fucking... <laughs> keep their their necks up at that point if if, with Hasbro and kenner and all that like i i I think they did the best and i'll be i'll be honest with you and and this has nothing to do with the fiction this is just like the way it was like they were trying to do it if the g2 toys would have came out and just been straight re-releases of the g1 stuff i think it would have been more successful but then it would have been g1 right you wouldn't have Tommy Kennedy. 
<laughs> and pops him a spot. But I, I'm just saying that, like, uh, like, like by the time the G2 toys started coming out, of probably 75 percent of my G1 collection was damaged in some way, and I would have fucking replaced every single one of them at that time. But I was like, but I was like a blue Grimlock. Who needs you? Yeah, but you were Tom Hanks and Big, and then everyone else there was like the rest of the people. They're like, oh no, we need a building that turns into a robot. That's what we okay, need. What? Slap his name on the side and color him purple. <laughs> He's a hit. You know what? Go ahead. The post- the mid- midichlorians and the prequels. Prequel, oh my god! If you say prequel they, one more time, they really. They open the door to fucking around with the forest. And I agree. now you've got a possibility of forest tree. I agree. Wait, hold on. So so you take day quill when you're sick during the day. And prequel when I'm about <laughs> to take my day quill. You take you take night quill when you're sick at night. But what if you think you're gonna get sick? Prequel. Like say next week. <laughs> if you sneeze on me, I take prequel. It's like the uh what is that shit called? Uh, the little orange tablets you drop in water and drink before you get sick. Airborne. Um, um, see, the, see, uh, somebody said it. Somebody Airborne said it. Emergency. Airborne. Emergency. Airborne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have um, the vitamin C energizer too. Yeah. The um. I'm going to Baltimore today. I'm taking some prequel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring some prequel to fucking skull fest in case I fall into a heroin pile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I get. Does anybody do, do we? How, what? Where's our? Where are we at time wise? Uh, I don't even uh, fucking know anymore at this yeah, point. I, I don't know. Not sure. Do we want to do this? Do the M, MP collector question and call it a night? Uh, or do we want to just call it a night? It's up to you. You're the host. You decide. Let's, let's do two questions, but we're not going to do MP collectors because I think it takes a level of thought. Okay. Fair so enough. MP collector, that. you're off well, the hook for another week. Uh, well, Daniel. His, Dan- his- I'm sorry. Recent question was behind other questions. I'm sorry. I was just shut the just fuck up, Greg. Yeah. Being fair, being fair. I just want everybody to know I'm, I'm fair with my question Damn. ordering. Anyway, <laughs> Daniel <Fuck> asks. asks <laughs> Daniel asks, "Who do you like more, DX9, Mytron, X Transbot, Tapion, Make Toys, Despotron?" Done. See chapter Done. one. Done. Uh, <laughs> Daniel asks, "On a scale of mortal to sexy god, how sexy is Deluxe?" Sexy god. Sexy god times two. Anybody oh, else? Remember, I would say Justin, sexy Justin, devil. Justin, they, fuck. Uh, <sighs> let's see. Uh, we're not going to do that one right now. Okay, last one we're going to do. Justin L. asks, what was your first memory of Transformers and what got you started collecting in adulthood? It's the episode 22, episode 31, episode 46. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Have we answered this like a dozen times already? I don't know. Well, you can answer it 13 more times. Shut the fuck up. You weren't on any of those episodes you just called out. <laughs> you know how many <laughs> times I've been on when we answered this question? Three? Yeah, I've all been right, on all those right, episodes. We're, we're wasting time wondering about that. Let's just go ahead and answer it. Mm-hmm. Bobby was Christmas, and he got Predator King, and he got Devastator. No? Uh, wrong? Okay. <laughs> Good. Why don't you go, Robert? My first memory of Transformers and what got me into started collecting in adulthood. I was in third grade. Okay, what what got you started collecting in adulthood? We definitely have answered, but but first memory we have not. Uh, I was in third grade and I was at uh, the um, what do you call the American Legion in my neighborhood, and they had like a bazaar every Sunday, and I used to go in there with like a couple bucks um, and see what toys they had, and I saw a Diaclone Grimlock. I didn't know what the hell it was, and I bought it. And it was awesome. That's what got me started. Um, I think that was before Transformers aired on TV. And I remember I brought this class and some fucking piece of shit stole it. But that was the that was the start. Uh, anyone else? I want Robert to answer for me. <laughs> you, you were uh, seven. <laughs> Hey, let's have Robert answer he, for everyone. Let's just go with Robert's doing, answers. He's doing It'd be good so much stuff. better. It'd be so much better. All right, go ahead. What's 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 Greg's, Robert? I just finished watching Barney. <laughs> Barney was on the outs, and um, you changed the channel, and you saw a rerun of Transformers, and because you're you're young, right? Aren't you like 22, Greg? 
and um, and, and you went out to the store, yeah, and, and, you, and you bought you you bought a, you bought some pops, and you saw um, while you're buying pops, you saw a Gobot, and you bought that, and then you saw Transformers on TV, and then you went and sold your Gobot and used that money to buy a Transformer at Toys R Us. Well, and then I hooked up with my boy M, and we got some crack. We smoked the fog out of that shit. Right, let's check out this Transformer show. Um, yeah, that was way off, Robert. Come on. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I think my tra- my first Transformer, I, I honestly... Or just memory, I, I, just memory of. Doesn't he have memory to of? Yeah, well, obviously the show. Um, see him in the store. But I think, yeah, it was like around, like, it was towards the end for me. I mean, like, it was the movie stuff, but, um, my first memorable Transformer was, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. I mean, that might not have been necessarily my first one, but that was my first memorable one. Um, but it was definitely the movie. Like, I remember the movie. Like, that was my big thing. Because I was, I was still on He-Man. So. Yeah. Nice. Uh, J- uh, Robert, what is uh, Matt's so first on- What's Matt's first memory? Matt, um, as he was coming out of the vagina... Um, he saw the reflection of an Autobot symbol in the blood on the floor, and he was just uh, taken for life right there. All right. And Matt, what is your proper one? Um, well, I'm at, I'm back uh, probably about 84 uh, when they started coming out. I was into G.I. Joe and He-Man, all that stuff. And I remember just, you know, after school, um, coming when I go to, um, it was like a babysitter's but or like a... Um, a bunch of other kids and everything. Um, they would always come on after TV. I mean, they would always come on after, you know, school. So I just remember sitting there watching, you know, uh, Transformers. I think Jim came on, um, you know, and G.I. Joe and He-Man, all that stuff. So uh, it was around 84 when I started watching them. And then, you know, later on they started doing the reruns of them already. And it was, you know, from that. Uh, toy-wise, I don't quite remember what my first toy was or what it was because I had a lot of stuff so but I, I do remember getting a um, for Christmas one year I got Trypticon and Skylinks and all that Galvatron when the movie came out in 86 so that was a good haul so yeah you were way off uh, Robert <laughs> but good try I know Justin's go for it he was he was he um, it was like six, seven years ago, and he was getting like 10 million views reviewing Tonka trucks and play school toys, and he actually looked up other reviews of, of transforming toys, and he was like, oh shit, there's actually a line? And then he started watching a cartoon, and he got hooked. And Justin, your problem? Well, it, it was actually when I was first dissecting my first nuclear bomb. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, I guess the the that we're going with the first <coughs> memory, right? Yeah. So, I mean, the one that sticks out the most is always the reason that I fell in love with Defensor, which was I actually was sick and went to the doctor and saw some kid playing with Metroplex, which I had, and the little ambulance that was not a GoBot, and it was not Ratchet, and uh, that's when I found out was first aid. And from that point on, I've always loved Defensor. So, I don't know. Weird nice. correlation. W- what was mine, Robert? I already said you got Predaking and and. Uh, oh okay, okay, okay. I um, my first memory is uh, the when they fought at the Hoover Dam, and it's when the Decepticons flew into nice. the the little building spot and started filling up the Energon cubes. Like that's <laughs> that's my that's my first memory. Like that's when I was like, it was something about it was the Jets. It was something about them. That, like I was like, fuck this, they look badass. And then and then I started asking for the toys, and then. On and on, and and my mom used to rent, like the videos. Do you guys remember the oh, videos? Oh, the VHS. Yeah. yeah, like he said, like, four had, like five two or three episodes. of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had like the comic book style art on the front. Donald Bots are one of them. They yep. have they sold yep. them too. Yep, yep. And it was all F A G, right? F- family Home Entertainment or whatever. Like that was the company that put them out. F A G. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, <sighs> that was like uh, one thing that my mom always did nice for me. Like, uh, go out, I don't remember that shit. She would get. I thought you said F A G. Top. And she well, I heard that actually too. That's why F A G. No, no, F A G. I said F A G. 
Um, I heard that too. Robert's not being stupid. And well, they, he uh, is, but I am. But yeah, like they, <laughs> she, she, they, she would go get like a movie for herself on Saturday or whatever, and then she would get me something to like, I guess, be out of her hair, and I would go home and watch those, like, run them back to back over and over and over again. You see, I think subliminally, you you probably remember the, the episode right before that when you saw those Tetra Jets. <laughs> right. Do y'all remember? I always want. I always was looking for the '86 movie on VHS, but I could never find it. Oh, guess because I just had that shit checked out every week. My um, my my. It's funny. We had two video stores. We had an Errol. I miss video like stores. Big chain video store at the time around us, and they had like the little <laughs> pop. Like the, the there was the video store Errols that didn't have a back room, and then there was the Mom and Pop spot that did have the back room. Mm. And mm. The place, yes. the place that did have the back room was called Video Systems, and it did carry the movie, and Errol's did not. So if I wanted to rent the movie, I had to be with my dad because my mom didn't have a Video Systems uh, uh, membership. I actually have the VHS movie. I still have it. Nice. That's cool. We my my dad never bought me VHS. Like he would just record it off of something, like, and, and, and he would, <laughs> and, he, and then he he put the sticker. Oh. Uh. He'd put the little sticker through the typewriter and type the name of it to like make it look official. Oh, that's nice. nice. And then and then he would type the fucking tracking numbers of when it started and stopped so that I could fast forward to each to each one. That oh, I that was nice. Aww. Yeah, but that's also because he's fucking extremely anal retentive, like type of guy that writes an R and an L. And Still stuff. nice. Yeah, my dad's a nice guy. That's awesome. Stern but fair. All right, before we get out wait, of here. Wait, wait, we didn't do Robert's. We didn't oh, do Robert's. shit. That's, that's Robert's, right. Robert's first memory of Transformers was he saw Came someone playing with Ratchet, and, and it was rolling it down the sidewalk, and all Robert could do was chase it, <laughs> and suddenly he found himself a lawyer. And, and when he was chasing it, he one time he fell, and he ended up sitting on a Megatron. Right, with the, <laughs> right. And he, and, sued, and he sued. He the sued somebody. Then he, yeah. the Megatron barrel went straight up his ass, and he sued <laughs> Hasbro and uh, for the, anal the greater the greater borough of Brooklyn uh, for having unkept streets. <laughs> and that's why all Megatrons are now orange capped. <laughs> the, the original one was red. Uh, <laughs> do you remember your first memory? I said it already. I already said it. All right. All right. Before we get out of here, um, I I want to say one thing before Justin takes us out, and that is that I want to say something too. What, what would you like to say, Matthew? No, you go. On. No, you go on. Yours is better. Okay. That uh, you know, we're we're friends with all these other shows. We shout them out. They shout us out. We call each <clears> the, network. <throat> the network has a name, and it's called the Cool Table, and it includes uh, Realm of Collectors. It includes. Uh, beers and bolters it includes nerve rage radio it includes toy detox it includes uh plastic fanatics it includes uh, eight weeks it includes uh i'm, I'm probably forget but i mean you uh, hopefully you guys are the shows and um hell and, has been reviews yeah yeah and and <laughs> anyway we're, we're going to be having more uh information okay. and more uh, places for you to go as like a listener to go to one place to have access to every piece of content that all of us collectively uh, produce to so make it easier for you and, and also since we end up referencing each other's shows and all that stuff all the time it just makes it a bit um, I don't know more solidified I don't know so alright go ahead Justin You're looking for notice right. me senpai so, like, so I, I want to say one one thing. I'm sorry. I am going to be in the DC area in uh, middle of September 17th, like that. Anything? If anybody wants to hook up, you know, show me around a little bit, you know, or you know, tell me where to go. Yeah. Um, just uh, hit me up somewhere. Uh, Hell's bad. Hell has for reviews. Just hook, hook me up there and everything. And I like to hang out with you or something. You know, do that. Anyways. Yeah, or that's that Redskins money. Got that hanging. Got that hanging out with, with listeners money. <laughs> Alrighty. Sorry, Justin. So, uh, shard outs. I'm not really sure how this goes, given quote unquote the network, the mm. table, the cool table. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna do it anyway. So, third party unlimited at Real Robot Toy Detox 
at Fear Corpse. I am Ratchet, third party, TF Crasher, uh, Crashers, the Open Your Toys podcast, the whole ROC group, uh, Nerd Rage Radio, except for Skullface. And uh, presumably, <laughs> presumably, Robert's nuts. Anyway, <laughs> I guess that's Shut it. That up. takes us out for today. So, uh, you know, uh, collect responsibly and, you know, whatever. Don't be a jerk. Shut the fuck up. Shut